How you guys doing, man? Good. Giving Anthony a nice rub down during the Guinness beer read. <laughs> hey, man. Nice. What's I, weird about that is ooh. not it's not weird that you're giving him a nice rub down. The weird part is that Anthony hates being touched by pretty much anyone. And then I nah. and I crossed several barriers. <laughs> yes. He was like, <laughs> he was feeling my stubble, yeah. my my razor stubble. <laughs> see, how, see how he's healing? He's healing. Now. It's good. Yeah, and you know what it you is? Can, Patrice just has big hands that like. If he's massaging your shoulders, you can, it's your entire shoulders. You can kind of have a guy like massage your sh shoulders because you know it's a little weird, but it does feel good. So you're like, ah. It does but feel then, good. But then, when, but then when you go with touching the face and all, oh, <laughs> it does feel good. And, but you know what? I didn't, I've never you played gay games until fucking I met Norton. Norton, yeah. Just Norton, Norton, Norton is quarantine. Game. They just do gay things, and it's just like hilarious I sometimes. text fucking Norton and stuff, and, and it's like, hey, sweetie. You call him sweetie, and he's like, all right, all uh, right. It's just kisses, funny. I got kisses. Gavin doing it. Like, I go, <laughs> Big Gavin. call Gavin Dumplin' and Butterscotch, <laughs> and he, he says, honey. It's just, it's just, a, it is funny. It's just a new added dimension that I think every, cross cultures, it, it just, <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, what, what insult I find to be amazing, and it's pure white, white people get credit for this, is douche. Dude, douche, the douche, douche word. is yeah, it douche is a, a fucking one. great fucking yeah. word, man. I didn't even think about that culturally. It's, it's really a great addition to uh, fucking cursing people out as douchebag is beautiful. It hasn't really crossed over into the black community no, as much no. as the white uh, community. Dude has though, dude, dude, but really, like yeah. yo, dude. Yo, dude. We change yeah, but you it. have to yeah, yeah. pronounce it. We have to change dude. it. Dude, yeah, yeah. dude, dude, dude. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but fucking, fucking douche is great. Douche is a good one. Oh, <laughs> thank you for douche. We've loved that one for quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> Don't rework that word. Just use it like we do. Yo, douche. <laughs> He's a douche. Douche. <laughs> I love it. Hey, so uh, you were at Anthony's for the big party. Yeah. I was away. I wanted to be there so bad. Yeah, it was fun. It was, you, you took over the grill. Fest, and, as you call it. Well, first of all, it was a sausage first? fest, but yeah. it wasn't gay. It's weird. Nah. Guys floating around in pools. I, I, it, Why did you make it a sausage fest? I don't understand uh, that. I, I just kind of wanted, because we've had parties at the house where it's like the guys and, and their chicks and everything. And guys, I, they, they just take on a different dynamic when their chicks are there. There's like this different attitude. You can't just hang out and goof the whole time. <laughs> There's going to be some part where the chick goes like, oh, could you do that? I need the some fucking drama or some bullshit. So I just Hindsight thought, 2020, genius. I just thought it's fucking cool to get all the guys. Because when we're here in the studio and it's all the guys, we're just sitting, knocking the shit out of each other, having fun. So I figured, why not do that at the house? I think it would be a blast. I had a great right. time. Only, that only can work, though. I, I did some uh, mental under <laughs> trying to understand why that worked. Yeah. Everybody in the house, physically and mentally, are finished. <laughs> so it, if it was a house full of 25-year-old guys, it'd yeah. be like, what the fuck? <laughs> exactly. What is right. this faggot-ass shit? <laughs> but it's a bunch of just, it was old men in a house. <laughs> <laughs> and no one's trying to get pussy. No one's trying to do. Just people Think sitting yeah, we, there. Yeah. Leg, everything was righteous. We eating, weren't out for the hunt. The dr it was not. The hunt it, was not on. And it was nothing funnier to me than to tell my girl because she was getting all ready for it. <laughs> oh shit! It's, uh, oh shit! I showed her keys. So, uh, yeah, Anthony said it's just the guys. Just guys. And I had to uninvite my girl. Oh shit! And, oh, boy. and just how annoyed she was. Was she just like? Mm? Uninvited? How annoyed. I didn't take pics and stuff. I didn't want to do that, but I really wanted to take a pic of the pool <laughs> and just dudes in a jacuzzi eating. <laughs> it was fucking Anthony Norton, um, who looked like he was just cooking. <laughs> and oh, all, no, Norton, Norton just looks <laughs> he's just like a, a mollusk, a little slug. He did look like some oh, he's just of, awful. Like a butterball. Well, like, <laughs> like someone set a butterball turkey adrift. He looks like he would be very tasty if you grilled him. <laughs> You know what I mean? A little butter, yeah. a little olive oil on. Oh, yeah. and there he is. He, <laughs> he, he would have. <laughs> he, got a picture of him up he would there. have a lot of marble meat. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little ribeye. Oh, He'd be oh, so boy. juicy. And oh, he was just. Yeah. It was him. It was Kenny. It was uh, Norton, Anthony, and uh, Anthony's uh, brother, just in the jacuzzi. <laughs> Uh, Sam, who was another one, it's, and it was the worst was Sam, conditioned like, uh, party I've ever seen. There was just <laughs> was Sam in the pool? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah Sam yeah. got in the pool. Uh, what does that look like without clothes? It, 
What does Sam look like without clothes? I'm gonna tell you, I think he doesn't have a hint I think of a muscle. Danny's on him. father had the best, the best physique. I think, <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's very, very sad. That's very, Sam, Sam's funny because Sam, Sam is obviously a thin guy. He weighs next to nothing, but then he gets that shirt off, and he's got like a little. Like a little pudgy. Oh, it's, gut. it's <laughs> nothing thing. worse. He's got like a little gut. Hair on his nipples. On his, it's just, it's just, it's, it's just something you go. I wish if I had a body that that wouldn't happen to me. It's chasing around. Was Kenny chasing around? I, it's just something? Kenny was. It, Kenny's figure is awful. And again, <laughs> this is me talking. It was just, you know what? Women didn't need to be there before the evening. No, just come later. Mm -hmm. It was great. The grilling, the food was delicious. I heard you took over the grill. Yeah, Patrice. What did you a think of Anthony's job. house? It's amazing. Oh, dude, a Patricia. tear came down my. It I does. Wanna, it's just, it it's does, just. Right? Uh, I, I, Thank you. It's a. It's a. Fun it's time. a beautiful. It, you know what it is? It's a. It's a gentleman's house. It's not too, um, gross. Grossly overdone. It's very understated. Um. It's nothing. I mean, he ain't got a little bit of formica here and there. <laughs> yeah, that's the Italian. You know, but that's, that's the Italian. You know, and, He's and, representing. And has, uh, He's got to concrete the whole front yard. Sir. You know, from time to time, you go, eh, well, a shiny chair. But you know what? I'd have done that different. A lot of patio furniture. Yeah, yeah. Well, but it has a lot of parties. You gotta, I'm just teasing, man. I fucking it, it, it's 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 beautiful. I, it really I love is. being there. It was like, and then uh, uh, it makes me cry. I didn't get shit for my money. His movie room is just ridiculous, right? Oh, the theater. Yes, that was fun. Like you have to when you congratulate him, like as you're doing it, you should always understand that someone has deep inside. There's the the green monsters in there. Oh shit! The, the green eye monsters. So you should be able to say, Anthony, I want to burn your fucking house down. <laughs> And then you go, you can live with it because you you go to your house, which you think I think my house is pretty okay. Sure, poorly built house from Syntex Homes, <laughs> and uh, that's why I didn't show up yesterday. Fucking oh, shit. Uh, some driplets coming through my ceiling. So yeah, I had a ceiling leak. Uh, yeah, uh, and it's just like yeah, from the roof. Yeah, and I, it made me want to uh, my my refrigerator. I thought that the you know I oh, got the, the part with for water to come out. Yeah, and that busted up. And uh, and I've had for a year I've had uh, people coming out trying to fix my refrigerator, mm. and I knew. And it's nothing worse than people that fix shit. Just like the doctor, you think, doctor, I can't see out of my left eye. Ah, nah, you're all right. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> blind in my left eye, motherfucker. <laughs> do Please something. do something. Help me. Don't tell me nothing. Just say. I'd rather you go say go fuck yourself. That's your uh. eyes. But the refrigerator used to have water coming out of it like it would fill up a gallon. I had no problem pushing that button and a gallon of water come out. At some point, it just started dribblets. So the guy comes in, changes. Oh, yeah, these, the fucking the, the blah, blah, zabba, blah, blah, blah. zabba zabba breaks. Yeah. Took it off. They put it on. I push it. He goes, he's sitting there, the, 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 the repair guy. He's fucking, and no ethic. No ethic. He just goes, yeah, he's working, right? You know, just sign this. I goes, uh, it is working. But do you see what's happening? Do you, <laughs> do you see that I, I bought two Brita, Britas, big Brita bottle things? Mm -hmm. Because I now can't have the patience to let water come out of my sit refrigerator there and have anymore. have it piss out like that. So I, I'm just sitting in my room and I see drips come out. And oh, shit. Mm. It, the whole time it was the the broken faucet in the fridge. Yeah. And, it, and luckily it wasn't dripping down for years. It just dripped down for a while for like maybe it had to be two weeks. Came through the ceiling, had to cut the ceiling, had to dry it out so it's no mold. Oh, had to do this and had to do that. And here's and here's how fucking horrible I've been my whole life. I'm like, you know, you don't you always like to be a man in front of your woman. And I held my fucking head in my hand. And I go, who do I call? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> who do I call? Who do I call? We're so lame. I don't have a, a landlord anymore. I'm like, oh god, <laughs> I'm my own landlord. Who do, who do I call for this? I don't even know who to call. I don't call. know who to call. Help me. Call <laughs> Kenny. And it won't cost you much. Kenny knows what to do. No, oh, Kenny would know who to call. Any problem you have, you go, Kenny, I have this problem, and he will hook you up. And then you got to pay a tiny, just a tiny little service charge. Kenny knows who to call. But that service charge is so worth it. Kenny, See, knows Kenny won't do it. You tell him what he your, knows who to call. Yeah, you tell him what he'll your problem is, up. and he'll set the whole fucking That's thing up. That's what Keith up. does for he, me. Yeah. Like, Keith, uh, if something happens, uh, I go, uh, Keith, I need, like, this done. And Keith goes, 
All right. And, and he, he is fucking he's the guy happy to called. do it. That son of a bitch oh, is yeah. territorial over his baby Anthony. I'm going to tell you. When uh, Patrice took the grill over, uh, Keith was like, what the fuck is really? Silent war. What? Between a what big black man and a cop. Oh my god! Over the, yeah. over the grill. I, I'm not racist, but I'd rather have a black man on the grill. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not even front. Well, Keith started off wrong, and he was he, didn't, yeah, yeah. he, he, he put coals in the entire fucking yeah. grill. Anthony has a, a big Weber, and you can't do that. You just got you got to stack. The half and put it half here. Patrice is going to have different heat. heats, right? Yes. It's, it's got to have different, different heat, heat levels. Patrice knows where on the grill it's going to be a certain temperature. And everything came out fucking fantastic. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. I, I was, was I was great. proud of myself. I didn't even want to eat. Anthony was great. told no one they can eat that last piece of chicken. I was like, no, Patrice <laughs> has to get that fucking last piece of chicken. It was and then so good. and then my friends came to see me perform at yeah. some point. Yeah, that's we cool. were we were halfway friends. Went to Cleveland and uh, saw Patrice. Mm -hmm. Fucking hysterical. Had a great time. Good crowd up there. Patrice hooked me up. You know something? I've done a lot of trashing on Cleveland as a city. Yeah. Cleveland's strong for us, man. Always has. Um, Always has. I, I, I cannot. Tr I can still oh, yeah. trash the city. <laughs> yeah. It's the, it, it it's the Walking Dead. <laughs> it is the weirdest. Uh, city. I had to get in a cab and drive <laughs> seven miles to get something to eat at about nine o'clock. <laughs> I will say, as a city, the infrastructure stinks. Yeah, it's weird. But, the, but they know the that. people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I absolutely, probably. I would I would put them the third all time right now as people. I I'd say yeah. DC first, and then I say Philly second, and then I say Cleveland. But Cleveland may pass Philly if I go wow. there a couple of times. That's how good the but, people but was. They gave up on their downtown area. Everyone will tell you that. It. I was in the Hyatt. It's yes, and, and, and I looked at homeless I swear zombies, heard wind, yeah, and <laughs> death. <laughs> it just looks like post apocalyptic. I, yeah. I said, "Oh my God!" Yeah. You know, you get up, you you do the the, the, the thing, you open up the big and curtains. You like, there's no one this on the streets. This is horrible. Nothing's going it's, on. There's no, there's no uh, uh, traffic. Yeah, there's no rush hour. You could stand in the middle of the I street too. and yeah. no, no, no cars, no cars. At eight nine in the morning. It's You're like it's really the these oddest people? thing. I've never seen that. How do they call that a city? As soon as you walk out of the Weird. hotel, the homeless people attack you immediately for like zombies for, for money. It's the closest thing to a zombie city. It's unbelievable. It's a they, mall close, and it's like yeah. luckily it's the black mall. I mean, it was just nothing but. <laughs> You know, post high school girls walking around, and I was just sitting by the fountain being a piece of shit, <laughs> eating popcorn and looking at them come out the Foot Locker <laughs> with their new kicks. Uh, uh, I wanted to buy a kilt so I could just reach down and just <laughs> jack my dick because these fucking delicious young things walking around, and I, they have no interest in me at all. No, huh? I gotta admit this. I, I, it's really a rough one. I'm, I'm yeah. relegated to uh, old broads. That's it. I know Shit. it. And I try to do that old man, that old man, mysterious. Who's that old man? Kind of feel to me. <laughs> oh, they <goodness>. fucking <laughs> just comes off as creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. That's who's this quiet guy by himself? <laughs> Nothing. Just a fat, a fat forty year old man that, that can't fuck me ever. Oh, that's tragic. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to sit there like, what's he eating? Something different from what I mean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Trying to be James Bond. Uh, yeah. Trying yes. to be James Bond. Give me a uh, diet coke. Uh. Uh, shake it, not stirred, please. <laughs> and then Patrice also commented on uh, on uh, the women's asses. Yeah, uh, he said, like, "What's wrong some with of their the, asses? Some of the biggest asses giant asses in, in Cleveland, Cleveland big but, asses in Cleveland, dude. If you like giant asses, yeah. If you're a a regular, listen up, Danny. If you like <laughs> women with giant asses, yeah, go to fucking Cleveland. I was noticing that Cleveland shit. has mm -hmm. giant, and I'm gonna tell you." Cause my girl's probably listening, so she's like, "Hmm, hmm." But I'm gonna tell you, if I need to scoop something up, <laughs> Cleveland, I'm scooping up three in Cleveland because they're fucking, they're they're downtrodden, yeah, and they need a man after each show walk out because after I'm trashing women for about 45 minutes, <laughs> yeah, exactly, and they only got one year left. <laughs> to what? When LeBron leaves, that city changes drastically. Oh boy, mm. they won't let him leave. They'll kill him first. <laughs> <laughs> but why would he leave? You know what I think from being a god to being you know what I think a king. You know what yeah, I think LeBron's sure. gonna do? He's going he's gonna make an understanding with with uh, with the team. He's gonna say, "Look, I'll give you two more years. 
You know I can leave now. You know I want to leave. You know I want to go to a bigger market. But you guys have been good to me. I'm going to give you two more solid years to try to make this thing happen. And then after that, all bets are off. I I'm going to tell you why he's not leaving. You think he stays there I'm going to tell you why he's not leaving. Sorry, they, man. Sports. They, no, that's okay. Sorry. They, 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 the Asians <laughs> bought, Asians bought uh, a lot of that, that whole situation. They bought the, the Quicken Loans Arena. They bought some of the team. They bought a lot of shit. <clears throat> and I think they bought it so they can guarantee hmm. they'll make LeBron global, man. They, they he's gonna be global. like he they're gonna push him in China, they'll put he'll be bigger than Jordan ever was, and they can pay him two hundred million dollars. Knicks are not guaranteed and they'll they'll do anything they can do to get people in so they can win. They they got Shaq, even though it's a it's a a, a, a lesser version of Shaq. Mm -hmm. They picked up Shaq. I mean, you still got Shaq. <laughs> he got something. This is the year, though. He, he, Second year of Shaq's contract. It's, uh, it's, it's, you can get one do it year. This year with Shaq. Yeah, so, so I'm saying Cleveland has a couple of years in, but they're still going to pay this guy 200 million, and they're going to get any. They're going to get do whatever they can do to pay people to come in because they got them Chinese people to back I didn't them. know about that. That's a good angle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. The they, Chinese he are ain't coming. going nowhere. Why would Buying they do up that? everything. They got the local giant. Boy? 80 fucking story high goddamn well, poster yeah, him on the side yeah. of the goddamn and, and, building. And, and, oh, really? Everywhere there's a picture of LeBron oh in the God. city as big as the building. It, it, this whole <clears throat> sides of buildings have his fucking picture I on it. I just have amazing. a feeling like guys like LeBron, though, they want to play for the Lakers, the Knicks, you know, a couple other teams in there maybe. Maybe Chicago. I don't know. Maybe. maybe I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought so there. until he started getting Those a, a little Hollywood. Those big markets are, but, you know. You know, they, they want to be in the big markets. But if, if these guys do the right thing, then maybe that doesn't Why matter. Why would he leave? If you're born, if you, if there's a if there's a professional team in New Mexico, you were born there, raised there, mm -hmm. played there in high school, and then when you turn pro, you, they consider you one of the best players that ever lived already, and you happen to get drafted by New Mexico's team. Why would you? They do it all the time. Why would you they, leave? They, they leave yeah, when true. they can. He's 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 from he's in Ohio. Everything was self. Yeah, so it was boxed in. It was like God did that for Cleveland. They did, <laughs> and they need it. Cleveland needs it. I'm, I used to be anti-Cleveland, right? I'm pro Cleveland. You're I want Cleveland. Cleveland want After coming from Cleveland, those people need. They need the same thing people from Pittsburgh need. They just need something. They need something. <clears throat> Even though Pittsburgh got their sports teams are phenomenal. Yeah, and their title town really, except for mm -hmm. except for the Eagles. Pennsylvania's big time. Yeah. But you get to certain feelings of some of these these towns and you just go, you know what? I left going. I wish I wish Cleveland well. Hey, we, I wish the well as you just I wish I, Cleveland well as always, as always packing at 2 window, in the morning yeah. for a 12 <laughs> mid noon flight. I, 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 I I've noticed something here. Yeah. There's a love fest between you two. Really? I think you guys bonded finally. We really did. I, I think you finally I, bonded I, with Patrice. Bonded. Officially. Officially. With Patrice. There was always a, like, uh, and would keep his distance a little bit. No, but that's just me. But not anymore. I, I see there's a bonding that happened the between is, the, the party and then Aunt going up to Cleveland to I see I don't Patrice. keep my distance with anybody like like uh, Patrice in particular. It's everybody. No, I know. In so general, then, you do that. It, when when I get to know somebody a little more, then you know it's, it's a little feel, uh, it's a little different now. Better, I see you know, it. I see why, it. Why? You, why do you say that? And I'm gonna tell you this because you're, I you're I don't smiling feel... at each other a little bit, a little wink in your eye. Like, you're oh. lying over the radio. Hey, we've shared a little. <laughs> Where's the I, fucking I, cameras? I did, a, I did a little grilling at the at the compound. Yeah. You know, you came hey. to see me in Cleveland. There's a little. Anthony's as I'm as I'm as I'm, I'm not saying, your gun point, right. as I'm talking, Anthony's drawing it's little not, Hitler mustaches all over his newspaper. I'm not saying you're like, you know, you're gonna make a cop film anytime soon, but But, but see this is different. your fault. Me and it's you a little different. Me and you was supposed to be me and Anthony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I blew it, right? You you really did. It's true. Yeah. We I've been trying to be I've been trying to make you Anthony what Anthony has become. Mm -hmm. Come yeah. hang out your place. Fuck yeah. you. How many times have I seen you? <laughs> You, and how many you, times have I fucking seen him? And seen, Ever. That's true. Gone and seen you once. Here's how simple it is. Oh, it, it, it performed. How many times have I? True that. Thank true you. True that. All right, but let me, let me, let me tell you <laughs> Look, something Look, we're fighting else. over Patrice now. Yes, well, <laughs> let's, 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 let's figure right, this out here. But you got to figure mileage. <laughs> you gotta go with mileage of performance. Let me if think. Opie lives in Manhattan All right, and I, he sees you oh, in Manhattan, I, and I go to I've Cleveland, gone to, I've ready? gone to Philly to see his, you. Here is <laughs> you was in Philly. All right, so <laughs> did I set you up nice? So there or what? here's the thing, Anthony. <laughs> hey, on the radio, mm -hmm. you know, it's, I'm thinking it's some horse shit. 
But it's yeah. like, you know what? I am going to have a little something, something, something. Mm-hmm. B- fucking Friday night, you get a text from fucking Keith the Cop. Bang, boom, bip. Boo, yeah. loud, bada, bing. Mm-hmm. Monday, we're at fucking Anthony's house. Yeah. Monday, sitting there. Can, can you know, that's your opportunity to do that. But my place sucks for a party like that's that. That's the thing. See, I think for real it does. It's like a, it's a boring yeah, like, fucking apartment in New York City. I got I like, a nice I like view, to but entertain him. Coming, He's got the place to him, entertain. Him coming to the show is an anomaly. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's what I'll do. You will be, and uh, Ovi, you are my mm-hmm. outside of the house friend. We will meet up at shows. We will meet up at lunch. We've had lunch together. I'm a little lunch. Oh. And hanging out at his house friend, oh. Anthony. <laughs> because here's what Anthony... he has the better house. Not that he has the better house. I'll Dude, tell you what. I have you, nothing to do in my place except here's go, what wow, Anthony's you want to see a nice sunset? Here's why Anthony's house wins. Not because it's better. I've never seen your house. I like, a, I like nice apartments myself. I heard mm-hmm. you have a nice apartment. Mm-hmm. I'm an apartment guy. But there's, I, there's no places to hide in your house. And Anthony, not only there's places to hide, but Anthony doesn't care that you're hiding in his house. <laughs> <laughs> he barely wants that people there. True. He goes somewhere that, right? with his fucking <laughs> don't bother me trees that he planted all over the place. <laughs> with his fucking, <laughs> his fucking neighbors. What an asshole. He has palm trees and he has trees that's not indigenous <laughs> to fucking Long, Long Island. Island. Coconut trees. he got cactuses. Cactuses. <laughs> fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> has trees so no one can see his house. He's got, he's got redwoods. <laughs> and he doesn't come looking for you. There's places to be. There's yeah. chairs to sit in, and you just... Uh, and there's 47 bathrooms. You can just sit in there and have an overdose of heroin if you want. They won't find you. <laughs> they won't find you for years. <laughs> you go downstairs and watch a fucking movie. Holy shit. <laughs> He's got the type of house, if you were looking for someone, it would take you a half hour. Dude. It could take you a half hour to find that Here's person. Here's how great his, the situation is. Not just the house. He let Pat from Wenaki walk around. I'm looking at him. I wanted to stop Pat. Like, I'm looking at Pat walk around. I'm just And Steve from Bayshore. And I'm just going, I don't should you guys be going in this refrigerator? <laughs> so, so, like, Why not? he li- just lets you know people what? be at home. It was beautiful. The listeners basically bought his house, so they should be able to check it out exactly. every once in a while. They should be able to come by, <laughs> right. right? They got a piece of the action. And then I had to leave because it started to get white pagan ritual. I thought they was going to, um, they invited uh, the guy with the fucking strange dick over. Oh, and he, oh, he, he just stood there looking like uh, uh, Marlon Brando from Apocalypse Now. Just... <laughs> Crazy, and I said, "Listen, I'm gonna get on out of here because he, yeah. I started, you know, this is getting a little weird hearing, <laughs> hearing the umba umba." <laughs> I thought Anthony was gonna <laughs> when I first got there. Said, oh shit, he's gonna tell me I got five minutes to run. <laughs> <laughs> Were you the only black guy? Of course, unless you count Sam. Does that bother you though? <laughs> yeah, yes, but I'm gonna tell you something. I, w- I hope Vinny Brand is listening to this. Okay, mm. um, I'll never go over to Vinny's house again. And and this is why Vinny's whiteness was was insulting. Mm. His whiteness was only because there was white people there, but it wasn't the Republican National Convention. Vinny <laughs> has fucking. I think Vinny like greases palms or something. Really? It's like, hey, this is my friend, the fucking state. Oh, he, state trooper. He's got this those? is my other, but yeah, it's no. all. Hey, this is and it's weird, like Stepford families and. Weird. It's 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 the uh, it's the equivalent. If I invited somebody over my house and motherfuckers was fighting dogs and playing <laughs> Black, dice, Black Panther, fucking doing cocaine, on. exactly, <laughs> fucking strippers, you You're know, right. sucking dick in the back. <laughs> hey, honey, come on in, come on in. Whoa, it's a white boy. Mmm, I'm gonna lick his asshole. Like that's the equivalent of white over Vinny's house. Oh, shit. Wow, it was fucking not right. It was like Vinny. I like Vinny oh too much God. for him to have th- that kind of white people. Yeah. Anthony, he's a fucking douche. But Anthony's a douche. Yeah. His brother's just a mess. Yeah. <laughs> His brother's a mess. His brother's a baby daddy. Right. You know? <laughs> baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> There's white baby daddies I'm, and I'm, baby mamas in there. It's, it's fucking, not white. I'm white trash. Yes. I'm fucking white trash. He's, it's comfortable white. Long Island, white trash. 
And uh, also, I like Pastor fun. Minaki has the luck of a nigga. He's just <laughs> diabetes and shit, can't see. Motherfucker's just he's bad luck fucker. <laughs> and I like, I like just fucking funny, too. I like fun. So I don't give a fuck. If if people come over and they're funny, make me laugh, have good conversations, I what am I gonna fucking you know invite over some fucking asshole just because he's uh, you know Sam just because he works, yeah. works with you? They were, yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> but it was it the, the 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 only black guy at Anthony's house was a completely different thing. It's almost like the Philly crew. They're not white guys. I like the Philly crew. Yeah. They're, they're like fucking Philly assholes, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They just happen to be white, but... And it's fucking, you know, Joe DeRosa's sitting there and fucking, oh, you know... If you're talking about just pathetic... Because we have messes. <laughs> All fucking messes. <laughs> but I was the only black guy there, though. Yeah, true. And driving up to his house was very uncomfortable. <laughs> really? Oh, what makes you uncomfortable about he that? Had a, I got a big red truck and his street, and there was an Italian guy on the phone who... And I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. He he was on the phone and he took the phone off his face <laughs> to stare at my truck riding down to get to Anthony's house. Yeah, he took. I'm not exact. He's on the phone. Blah, 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 blah. I, I imagine he sounds like this. Yeah, yeah. fucking. And then he just took the phone off his face. Oh, you know what he must have said when he put the phone back Holy to his face. Holy shit! What the fuck <laughs> just drove by? But no, wait a minute, stop! You gotta hear what I just saw drive by, motherfucker! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I'm telling you. But imagine the first sentence when he got back on the oh, phone. Exactly. And I was scared going home too. I yeah. was a little nervous till I got on the LIE going yeah, home. Expressway. And you once on I there, got on it, but it was took a couple of seconds. A couple I'll, of twists and turns, and you're like getting there. Mm -hmm. And leaving, but being there was beautiful, man. It's a bit of a puzzle to get to his house. Oh, it's a beautiful <laughs> bathrooms you gotta, you gotta everywhere. Oh, I like fucking bathrooms Anthony doesn't care 15 feet. what's going on in his house. No. You know, I saw the, the fucking guns. The gun collection. It wasn't scary. It was very... Po All the shit he says about guns. It You, you picture something <laughs> uncomfortable. But really, it's all neat... If I had guns, if I was allowed to have guns, <laughs> they'd be just thrown about. No, I, I would be thinking, you know, boy, oh boy. Yes. It, but it was a, you know, you open a gun, a nice desert eagle, beautiful. It, it looks like it's not for weaponry. It looks like it's. Yeah, it's just like a, it's open, a completely. He has a gentleman's house, big shower, yeah. fucking with the sit down. It, you know, I'm I'm walking by my, the, 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 my jealousy and the <laughs> reflection of where I am in my life as a man. <laughs> I'm looking around, going, "Hey, man, how come?" Here's what my dumb ass says. I go, "This, I'm in a mansion. How come you ain't no crown molding?" Yeah, and then yeah. I said, "And then no, and then fucking <laughs> Keith goes, no, he got him.' No, it's I go, there. "Oh, it's up there. Oh, it's it's the entire ceiling, <laughs> <laughs> not just the corners like my house." <laughs> and I apologize to Keith because what a dick I was by going. But I'm in the house going, trying to find something. I'm hoping a roach crawls in like a uh, something. Fantastic. There's a roach in Anthony's house. It was <laughs> see, I was it's beautiful, man. I was lucky enough to see the house when there was nothing in it. Nothing. No pool, it no was, backyard, there was no nothing furniture, in there for no nothing. For, a, for about a year, right? Till I broke up, uh, till me and the girlfriend broke there up. There was barely... Then Anything like, in the house. There was like a card table for the laptop and, and yeah. sort of a couch and I, a bed. I had, that was it. Not even a card whole table. place. I had like another computer sitting on a fucking like dinner tray. One of those fold out wooden dinner tray things. And, and I had a beanbag chair and a big screen TV in the kitchen hooked up to the Xbox. <laughs> and I would just play fucking Call of Duty with <laughs> a glass of wine and sitting on the fucking hardwood floor something, on the beanbag chair. Something got him motivated because that's, it that's, was, it was, that's the, the real breakup. Anthony, by the Keith, way. The breakup. But the breakup the got breakup. him motivated. And then, and then Angela, Keith's wife, uh, was like, Anthony, you know, you want me to... Help you out and come in because she's really good at decorating. She came in and just because I'm not going to sit there and look at swatches of fucking material and then look at a couch and try to picture who what do that I call? couch is going to look like. That's the who do I call? So it was just Moment. like fucking the, um, here you go. It was a seat. Is he has a leather chair with an ottoman? Right. I guess no one oh, sits yeah, there yeah. really. No. When you, I sat there and I just yeah. Patrice like sunk into this thing. He looked like <laughs> I wanted to just. Keep him there as, as, <laughs> as an exhibit. <laughs> you as, look to your corner, there's a nigga in my chair. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just still like this yeah, until you give me a quarter and I move for a second. <laughs> Take myself. But there's a space on his wall uh, that I just was sitting there, I, I think it had to be 20 minutes. 
going, I wonder what I, what would I put there? Like there's an oh, empty big, space, and I'm going, what would yeah. I put there? I argue that with Ann. I'm like, leave it as is. Could leave it like that. Could put a triptych up there. I think a I like, three. I think it like some kind of a, almost like a sculpture, but a wall sculpture. I said a half a pieces. motorcycle. Half a motorcycle. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Danny just I'm sorry. laughing. <laughs> a half a motorcycle, I man. I like it. Kind that of like right. the idea. It's, it, it's a it, giant wall. Why don't you get like a big moose head or something? something up there. <laughs> big moose head. <laughs> some, get a moose. One that talks like in like, oh, you brute. Like the fish, yeah. and it moves. Yeah. <laughs> Every fucking 15 minutes, the moose talks. Hi, everybody. <laughs> but, oh, I was, uh, I was, uh, you know, I was, it was just, uh, it was emotional being in it because I really uh, want to just relax like that. That's mm -hmm. a good house to die oh, in. Oh, it's just fucking real. I, that's what I like. I like just sitting down, grabbing a beer, and fucking relaxing. Yeah, that's it. That's why I don't like going to his house. Why? Because then I'm like. But I hear you got a <laughs> nice place, man. I got a nice view. <laughs> but you got how many square what, feet? Five thousand? I got I got four rooms in Manhattan, four bedrooms. But how, what's the square footage? Though? I don't know. For he, real, I don't know. I don't know that. Three thousand? I really don't know. Find out. <laughs> Find out. So I can probably be jealous if you say four, less than three thousand. No, I'm I, I'm not four, gonna have proper jealousy. Four bedrooms. <laughs> And a and a, a nice sized living room, yeah, a, a real big living room, and then a foyer area, a little foyer, full foyer. It's big. Mm. Invite me to the house, but I think you would think I was too close to to what to to the little lady. It too, it's it's too close. It's not no, it's not no, far no. enough space between no, me and this woman. No, <laughs> <laughs> I think Opie would be. I, I would I think Opie. This is what I think Opie, and this is what I think he would he would watch. How hard I would sit on his furniture, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> I would think You're I would <laughs> that I sat down. I would. I think I would sit down and hear some kind of creak, and Oprah go, "Ooh!" Oh, and him, oh. him and his wife would have a little discussion in the back. Mm, did you hear? Did you hear oh, that? You so shit? got that wrong. I, I had that delivered. It took five months, <laughs> and then he comes plop his fat ass. I wasn't. You got, you got that so wrong. What do you think Anthony did with the, the chair you sat in? You think he, he's sitting he in that every day? Oh, that's right. what are you probably fumigated it. But <laughs> <laughs> that, that no, my great. place is. I give you a tour. We look at the view, which is amazing, mm -hmm. and then we go get lunch. We get it right out of there. That's all you do with my place. Unlike Anthony, where it's like, do you want to go? That. You want to go down and, and check out a movie? You want to do a live broadcast? Do you want to go out to the pool area? You want to grill? I don't have any of that. True so, that. So what do we do? We could sit down and order food and 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 watch a movie or something. It's, yeah, it's completely but, different than. Anthony's but the head. fucking curve is 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 messed up because we've been over his house. But if you go from somewhere to your place. You'd be like, oh, let's just hang out. I'm sure you got a 50-incher in there. You got to. Of course you do. Got a 50-incher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> White trash is. Every TV's mounted subway. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? It's just, it's just you don't mount to every television. <laughs> doesn't get mounted <laughs> on your TV. wall. You know why? You I, don't mount everything. I do that too. Everything. I got, Everything's one, mounted. Two. I got five because, mountains. You know why? No wires, no nothing. It's all internal. It goes right from the back of the TV into the That's right. You don't see a component. I'm with you. You don't see wires. That's where we're the same. I got five mounted TVs. And you got what? Five TVs. My basement looks like and, NASA. And, I got a room that looks like fucking NASA. And, and my, I don't want wires. And my computer screen is as big as that top TV right there because it's an old TV. I turn it into a monitor. Oh, So dude, I, got, I got six I TVs mounted. technically. You can't mount. Why? And, what are you supposed to do you, with them? Some I mount of, all my some TVs, Some of them too. you have... Some rooms you just you change up, like you put the TV they're, they're on like a pictures. stand. They're like pictures bit. on the wall. Yeah, you know what it is though. <laughs> like like I have some uh, uh, like a dresser with the the TV mounted about four inches above the dresser. Yeah. So instead of it being on the dresser, right, you can use that space. There, now it's like for your clones. You know, and whatnot. Again, you have to understand this is the jealous part of me who wants that house <laughs> so I can make it the way I I want to make it. It's fucking amazing, and the, and the most amazing thing, I'll I'll go three three things in order. One, number one is probably the pool, J just being able to go out yeah, in that I pool. Dig with that the fucking sun. pool. Is it nice? <laughs> the warm pool. I didn't Did you go in? in. No, I didn't. I didn't expect you put your to. Tushies in, didn't you? 
I didn't even. I think I touched it. It's, it was. All I right. think it was 116 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> um, everybody. It just was a comfortable thing. It, the outside was very calm. I would say pools number one followed real, real close by the the movie theater. That thing is ridiculous. I, I like mean, that. the movie theater is, is. Do you use it a lot? Of it? Yeah, I use it. You know, enough. Enough. Mm -hmm. It's not like you know it doesn't get used. It's or just going. Like it's but just did, amazing. Did it's, you sit down and watch anything? I had to get out. My jealousy. In yeah, envy, we were, I had to go. We were watching a piece of a movie. What's Kill Bill. Movie? Yeah, Kill Bill. And it was better than Bill. if you've seen it at the movies. <laughs> <laughs> you hear when the, it was a scene where she was fighting a little uh, Japanese girl. Go, go, yeah. And you can hear when when she threw the ball and it crunched into the, th and then she put, you just hear the, the wood crunch. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, crystal like clear. It, it just Sound. was like, and I go, I got to get out of here. What am I going to do? I'm going to end up stealing one of his chairs. <laughs> and so, and the third, I would say, is the, is the, uh, now the gun collection is amazing. I but like I, that. I fucking say, like, where I go, I got to have this one day in my house, is that, that fucking, his shower. Fucker yeah, has a shower that you need in your life, man. With the bench and all that. Sit down. You sit down. With big the water fucking thing. I, you you big, need that. It's. I used to hate fucking. You got a tiny little shower in your place. Who? When you, you wash your I hair. I got the regular yeah. fucking human um, being shower. But you have your own place. You can't figure out how to make it bigger. Let me tell you what I don't have. You don't it's have my own place. <laughs> I have to fucking ask permission to do things to my house. Oh, because oh, you got a condo. Yeah. yeah. See, that's God what I got. Damn yeah. it. You don't have a choice in that. If you live in the city, you don't really have a I choice. I got to get permits, but, you know. Yeah, not for you it's... inside your house. No, no. Or outside your house. I can... uh, outside for the pool and everything. No, was, not just. St forever. I have to ask permission. Oh, no, I, I could put, like, shutters, windows. No, I shutters could, on your house. I could pretty right, much rip my shit up if I want to. Pretty much. Inside? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. See, but but then the house, though, at least like at the condo association, you go, hey, there's no, they didn't get the garbage or some shit. Mm -hmm. When you own your house, it's like everything is your responsibility. Yeah. A yeah. little bit is theirs, a little bit, but still, I'd rather own my house. And, yeah, you're not and like running like around your house changing air conditioning filters and shit like that, right? And I would get yeah. married, too, I in your house, though. Really? I would have, I would get married and... Why would you do that? And, you'd, you'd give away, you'd saw the house in half and go, here, now you potentially will get this. I'd have to have life, more life. Uh, I would have to have a, f a family in there. Yeah. Like just some, mm. some girl that I thought was d deemed worthy of right. living in that house. Because I'm <laughs> sitting there going, I'm thinking of all the places I can hide from my girl. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, perfection. She'd mm. find me if she really need to, but she wouldn't just be right there. That's why yeah. we don't live together because it's just too close. I, I don't. There's a lot of like doors that. to shut, which is nice. Fucking, I could go into the office and just yeah, you, fucking shut you the could doors. Be alone. And I feel like Don yeah. Corleone yeah. behind yeah. the desk. The biggest you know, waste in the Anthony's on. house is the kitchen. That kitchen is amazing, but I don't think you use it. Oh no, it gets it's going to get used. By the way, uh, uh, the big uh, wedding is coming up. What? 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 Yeah. Who's getting married? Who's getting married? Letter. My sister Dawn and Patrick. At your house? That's brand yeah. news. Yep. At brand my new house. news. Right now, I believe. Uh, How much you charge this? Hmm? How much yeah, charge I guess I'm not invited. Them. Yeah, right. Why would I? Uh, no, I, I believe you're on the invite list. <laughs> yeah, I'll be penciled in at the end. You'll see after, after the after the last name that a, starts with Z. You'll get an RSPP <laughs> right. and FedEx tomorrow. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Saturday? Of course. Sign tomorrow. for this, please. <laughs> I think Anthony slipped. I'm not invited to no, no fucking wedding. No, I'm sure wedding. you are. Uh, <laughs> right why don't you, right you text now, on right now? And, <laughs> yes. Well, right now. Now Angela and uh, uh, when my is the sister wedding? Dawn and Steve uh, from uh, uh, Bay the restaurant. No, um, uh, fuck, why, why can't I remember oh, uh, now? Basil Tees. Yeah, Basil Tees. Jesus Christ. Yeah, from Basil Tees are over there because he's, he's going to do the catering. When's the wedding? Um, I believe it's uh, September twenty something. <laughs> I'm so, so not invited. Ninth or oh, this is so awkward. No, I can picture it, and though. Now, no and now I'm going to get the invite. No invites went out. Hey, they gonna, you're going to put like a platform <laughs> over the pool where they walk out and do the pool no, thing? I think, I think they're going to walk out from the house down and then in the pit area, that fire pit area. That's pretty with the fucking little thing, cool, they can They can do it that way with, you know. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. And they're the, going to keep it like not like it's not going to be, you know, a... a white wedding kind of a thing. It's going to be a nice thing. It's going to be a band. 
We're going to, uh, you know, my brother and everybody going to jam a little bit. Yeah, and like, fucking you know have what? fun. This is just like when you got married in, in, in someone's backyard. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just you like wanna, it. You want to <laughs> give Patrice the difference? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to relive it even in my head. Uh, One more. You should bring your ex-wife. I, I oh, oh, you God. should bring her over yeah. and sit her down, right, and have and have a I forgive you and hey, let's be cool <laughs> oh. conversation. But give her a tour of your house as you do in every room. <laughs> And go, let's just be cool in the movie room, and uh, let's be cool into this room, and let's be cool into that room, you know and why? then just toss her out. You know why I couldn't? Because uh, then I would have to do a tour of the other house I bought that I've never seen that, that she lives in. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When's the last payment? Yeah. Are we, uh, we're there, we're, we're right? coming up. We're, we're there, we're right? Coming up, I, thought you um, did. I thought it was already. Nope. It's uh, soon. Yeah, I got about another month. That's it? That's it. That's been 10 years. Pay it now. Amazing. No, fuck that. Pay it now is right. Okay. Fucking pay it. What the fuck are you doing? Why would I not get interest on that money oh, until right. the last second? Are you an <laughs> asshole? How much interest could you get? Enough. Enough? <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Believe me. It's called turning. Are you serious? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> you can only hope she, she ends up a junkie. <laughs> That's what you just hope. Just send. I have no ill will upon anybody. <laughs> Just send some of that, um, no. some of that that methamphetamine that goes through your skin. <laughs> when she opens up the letter, just get a little bit of meth juice right on her fingers, and she's hooked. Yeah. She'll be selling that house back to you. No, he, this is called "I'm in the home stretch." Let's not fuck it up. <laughs> that's what that's called. Give give her the fucking rest of the money now. Yeah, so you don't yeah, fuck just, it up. Just, just get it over it, with. Just it, man. Do you know what you're doing? You're like, Dude, he's should right. I do that? That's evil on your heart, man. Just fucking. Did I do that? Because, yeah, you get. You know how happy you'll be? Get it over with. It's like having a stab right heel. I want to get a big publisher's clearinghouse check, though, and have, like, fucking 18 year old girls <laughs> deliver it. <laughs> And then blow me on, on the front stoop. <laughs> on the, <laughs> anytime I give my girl a check on the memo line, just because she does nothing to deserve it, I just put for just being a lazy cunt. Right on, the, on the memo line, I go, if you now cash this, it's the, the pain of going to the bank with this on your check is worth what I just gave you. Just fucking, you should get a fucking Xerox copy of your of your ball imprint. <laughs> right, <laughs> dot the I, oh, dot the shit. I, or any any eyes on there, just dot it with your ball. Put ink on your balls. <laughs> dot the I with your ball ink, and have a fucking take that. Holy shit! Play. God bless you. Dot <laughs> an eye with my ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, right. Fuck man. With that, why don't we take a break? Uh, That's uh, cool. Congratulations to Dawn and Pat. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. No, no invitations have gone out yet. By the way. It's going to be a, one of these. It's not like a big, planned, like giant wedding you thing. It's going to be very. You don't have uh, to explain. I understand. No, she said that. I think that there's like. <laughs> over, I'm, I'm with you, Obi. I think there's like I, 60 just, people invited. Just stop, man. You, you got to be in there. Anthony, just I, stop. Uh, yeah, yeah. All I you have to do is just stop. Just stop. Just say. I know. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, I didn't. Invited. I know. Hey. I didn't make it easy over the years. I know. Trust this. me. I know. It ain't. Uh, should I say I'm this? Trying to turn this. It ain't my fucking wedding. I don't know who they're inviting. It's right. my house, and you're cordially invited. I can't even look at you. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, <fuck that>. <laughs> <laughs> Patrice, where are you going to be? we got to take a break. I'm going to be in uh, uh, next weekend, September 11th and 12th. I'm going to be in, uh, hang, doing my Connecticut tour. Uh, Stra Stratford, Connecticut, and Danbury, Connecticut, both at the Tree House. Those are 9 p.m. shows. And then the 17th, 18th, and 19th, I'm going to be at the lovely Punchline in San Francisco, my fourth favorite club. Damn. If not, if, that if, is a great comedy club. I love San Francisco. I saw Norton there and... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, who the, oh, someone else. Ah, whatever. So you like San Francisco? Um, as a city, n it doesn't impress me. Like it's the hills and shit. It's just. Not, I like the outskirts of San Francisco. When you get out of the city, it's, it's when you just do amazing. certain things. It's a beautiful looking city. Yeah. But I do enjoy the fact that Asians have a fucking personality in San Francisco. Ah, <clears throat> well, let's get into that after the break. Interesting. Yeah, you know something. They're everywhere. Mm, fucking. I was trying to explain uh, to my girl why the Asians are in San Francisco, and I, I couldn't come up with a historical they fact. They stopped. That's where they yeah. stopped. What was it? Huge they hit China, land huge after China crossing the 
Pacific. No, but why? What historically? Why did so many Asians end up in San Francisco? I couldn't explain it to her. When you tons leave, of uh, them, huh? Tons of them, and they're whatever they are. They're they're second or third generation. I've never bumped into an Asian Asian in 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 <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Asian you have a way of putting it. I think it's like I think it's like Mexicans in Texas, things like that. Yeah, but you why? Get like, Historically, why? That's all. Well, after World War II, uh, you got a lot of uh, Japanese came over. After Vietnam, you got a lot of Vietnamese, Cambodians. Does it have and something to do with the shipping? Once they come over, well, that's where you would hit first that's is California. Thinking. So that would be my guess. Oh yeah, from you through China. That. Yeah, from uh, you yeah. would and Vancouver. So, yeah. <clears throat> so San Francisco van, all of that north, and for some reason, it, yeah, they yeah. ended up probably you coming through Hawaii. And the Southern California, you know, the Mexicans got, got no, that. That's easy. That's, so that's easy to figure out. They wound out. up getting that from the Pacific. Right. That's easy to figure out. I just want to know why. Great Asians. Everyone has the answer on the phone. How did obviously. we get Puerto Ricans <laughs> in New York? It's like, shouldn't Florida have gotten Puerto Ricans? I know that Florida got Cubans. That's a good goddamn... But how did New York get Puerto Ricans? That's a good Puerto goddamn Rico's question, like, man. Right, That's all right, a great we got a, question. We've got a couple of questions out there. We'll get the answers mm. next. How's that? Racial geography. How's your Twitter going up? there, uh, Patrice? Big Mama Prize, Big right? Mama Prize, but if you, you put don't Patrice O'Neill, it'll come up, too. What? If you put Patrice O'Neill, Big Mama Prize oh, will damn. come up. Oh, damn. On Twitter? On That's Twitter, handy. Friend, yes. you got to teach me how to do that. Yeah, but you, you set it up as, a, as your email... Or whatever, and then you also give uh, a alternate like username that people can find you under. Right on. Okay, so that is handy. Big Mama Prize, man. I, I get it out there, and anybody that twits me, I twit them right back. But sometimes I don't have a uh, real great twits, so I don't twit. But when I have <laughs> good twits, you're smart. I you don't twit. feel compelled to twit when yeah. you don't have any. I'm a, I'm a I'm a serial twitter, <laughs> but then I had to stop following Hammer. Because oh, Hammer oh, take up space on your phone. <laughs> Who's Hammer? Hammer. <laughs> the Hammer? The Hammer. Nigga, stop twitting so much. <laughs> Enough of you and your fucking twits, Hammer. I stop following him because every second I see his goddamn something. You know, There's three things. He's promoting something. Yeah. He's, he's saying what's up to somebody that no one else knows. <laughs> or he's fucking giving you some kind of spiritual advice today. You know what? No, I've stopped following Hammer. I'm gonna stop following the fucking drummer from from the Roots if he doesn't stop fucking twitting. Really? Yeah. Hey, man, they don't. Life is great. No, no, it's funny about Twitter. Inspirational messages. Enough of you. We all want to tweet more than we do. And you notice, like, if you if you send that one tweet too many, yeah, you watch your followers go. Yeah, <laughs> they and they'll let you know, too. Oh, yeah, they're, they're gone. Right, and enough. you're like, fuck, I knew I shouldn't have sent that last one. But that's the difference between keeping some of your followers and them dropping out. And will, then, but I then they say, slowly come back again. Not because you're here in front of me, but he has a, just the proper amount I'm trying. of not much tweeting. If you... If you See, you'll see this little gr this little Grim Reaper thing he has. I, I can't really call it. I think you're like have a hood on and you're tw tweeting or something. <laughs> right. It's 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 a nice little picture, and mm -hmm. you see it every day. You'll see it. Yeah. And and it's not too much. It's not too much fucking OP radio. <laughs> Just a proper mind. You go. Me, oh, he got his little fucking. Well, let me tell you the secret because someone asked me about this. I direct message. Huh? When I reply. Smart. The only time I, oh, I right, right. the only time I actually stupid. hit reply right. is if it if I think it might be something that the masses that Should know. are on my Twitter a little RT yeah on but there someone wrote me they're like what? I, yep. I write you a lot and you always direct message me I'm like yeah because I don't want to like you know fucking why well, lay it out there and have yeah. a conversation because like you said MC Hammer saying hi to someone we don't know who gives a shit right <laughs> yeah. so most of my I, replies it's like something they said about the show or something it's like a quick thanks I appreciate it blah too blah blah too much hammer yeah <laughs> fuck hammer too much. Uh, don't not fuck him. Yeah, I'm with you. Let's, <laughs> too much. Fuck him. Too much. His comeback was a bust. Let's, let's, too let's much, move on. Shit. Too much twammering. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Stop twammering, <laughs> MC Twammer. <laughs> <laughs> enough, enough for you. And 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 fucking uh, the the drummer. What's the drummer from from the Roots? Yeah, I don't know. What's his that name. guy's name? Uh, Quest Love. Quest Love. Oh, it's like Quest is another. Too, see, you're getting excessive twi uh, Quest. I like his twits though, but. Uh, and another one is Serena. I followed her for a second. Really? Oh, boo. Just, I'm here waiting to go on fucking uh, the, 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 the yeah. show. I saw one of her <clears throat> tweets. She <clears throat> said something like, I'm getting ready to play a match. I need some inspirational music. Suggest a song. Make uh, sure it's upbeat. I'm it, like, it's Ooh. just uh, enough. Ooh. Great Twitterers. Um, mm. 
Uh, Shaq is a is a good Twitter. Yeah, Shaq. Dwight Shaq Howard, is... if you're bored to death, he'll 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 help. Sports Twitter, uh, fucking Ocho Cinco, great great Twitter. Twitter. Shaq is beyond talented. He doesn't even need basketball anymore. No. This guy's going to continue with so much shit after he good, retires. Good tweeter. That guy is a talented motherfucker. And E, wait, Caesar Milan? I know he doesn't tweet his own, but whoever's in charge of it, <laughs> fucking great Twitter to have Caesar Milan. Every once in a while, he'll go, hey, remember, if your dog bites you, just, you know, <laughs> it's it's so why he exists. And he gives a little fucking, some, a, 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 not, a, not a, hey, kiss your dog. Remember, it's like. Hey, don't kick him in his ass. A little um, word of wisdom. You know, shock him with a taser. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking, it's that kind of tweet. So it's some good There it is. Don't tweet. leave your dog in the car. Summer temperatures make a car heat up fast. Dehydration could be the result. Bam! There uh, it is. And there's some good porno girl Twitters, too. Mm. Porno, porno girls, twi uh, great Twitters. Mm. I got the best, uh, mm -hmm. I got the best person I'm following. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. What's his mm -hmm. name? Maybe I'd say it after the break. Keep okay. these fuckers uh, interested. <laughs> Why did I, I know they sick of house talk. These, I know these well, I'm telling you. But they all live I, in Long Island. They got houses. I, exactly. I, have, I have confidence in this one. Trash. I have confidence in this one, and this this Twitter account will blow up after the break. Now, I don't know, because I got one. Uh, I follow yeah, you one got that, one, too? I follow one that goes, getting ready to go suck some asshole <laughs> on set. All right. That's good. <laughs> I, I got one. You got one. We'll yeah. have a little competition after the break, yeah. and we'll see and let Anthony decide who has the better one. Yeah. Okay. I got a real good one. All right. Real good one. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm confident. All right. Can I take oh, one I'm guess before now. we go? Yeah. Belladonna. No, not no. Those are good though. All right. The individuals are good. I'm thinking more. Oh. Okay. Oh, All right. I can't oh. guess that. All right. Oh, Fuck. Damn. I know. Because Belladonna. Yeah. There's some good tweets there. Hmm. I've been known to check out the page every once in a while. By the way, uh -huh. I listened to y'all the other day, and you trashed this guy. <laughs> it was so who the the book guy, the book guy that made the book with the sayings. Oh, was that is a, that a replay? No, a, I don't think it was a replay. We didn't do no book shit today, did what, we? It had to be during like some kind of worst of the vocabulary. Is that what you were listening to? Was Ooh. I listening to that? I thought that was this week. No. Nah. I'm the, sorry, I apologize. Was it last was week? The yeah. one that but I, I haven't listened to every show, so that sorry, it was yeah. just that made me laugh, dude. <laughs> oh, it was was that the one where I peed on the book in front of him? <laughs> no. Uh Norton farted over the thing <laughs> and I was like, Hey, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna um I'm it, oh, what was the one of the words? It bar bar it, it was a it was a war room. It was it must have been like a bro a thing. Bro, or... it, it, he would. It was corny. Yeah, I think words it, put together to make fucking make man words. Yeah, oh. Word, oh. words. Yeah, it, I think it was the vocabulary it, book. It was awful, and but you didn't Horrible. trash him. But the the you get one of the best trashes y'all ever did without fucking <laughs> trash. I I, I I I thought it was live, but I just wanted to say that that was fucking. Oh, I that remember, made me I laugh. Remember that one, yeah. I peed on a guy's book. <laughs> yeah. It was a really long pee, and he's on the phone. <laughs> it is, yeah. And then to really rub it in, I go, "Did you hear that?" <laughs> and he goes, "Yeah." He was so defeated. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like such a fucking. Yeah, zero. I hear it. Oh, awful. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> uh, Keith in San Francisco. They were brought in for a railroad and stayed for the gold rush. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. The railroad. Wow, they've been there since then. Um, wow, yeah. Fuck. It's eighteen. That's eighteen hundreds there, son. Yeah. Motherfucker, I'm hanging up on Tony and PA because he's got the, the Twitter account that I'm going to mention next. He had it. Oh, he did? All right. All, right. All, All you had to do it. was look up at that screen. Tony, I want to acknowledge you had it. Puerto Ricans are in New York because politicians flew them in after World War II. So what, what did that mean? I what, don't know. Why? Did, why? why? How do you fly Puerto uh, Ricans in? And you know World something oh, about why? Puerto Rico. It's got to be political because they're U.S. citizens. And, mm -hmm. and here's a fact real quick. I need break, but the fact is... Puerto Ricans, and you could dispute me, but they are hated by all the other uh, Puerto Ricans, uh, Cubans, Mexicans. Oh, and all the other Hispanic. They, they uh, don't like them, and Puerto Ricans mm. treat them other Dominican. They treat them poorly mm. because they treat them like second class citizens. Like we don't have to swim here, but you do. Right, by the we, way, we can travel. They're fucking citizens without even being American yeah. citizens. That's man. why. That's yeah. why we'll never get rid of racism. It's everywhere. <laughs> they can't. It's fucking it's everywhere. Inter, it's inter interracial. Yeah, they racism or whatever. Cubans don't like Puerto Ricans. Any Puerto Rican, any 
fucking Latinos that have to come into this country mm -hmm. illegally. Look at Puerto Rican. Can't Why the stand fuck Puerto Ricans. Guys get can't stand and Puerto Ricans treat them like that. Wow. All I right. talk. I talked to a Dominican. Yeah. And another thing, I like this. Argentina. Why there's no black people in Argentina? Really? Everywhere else in South America has black people, not in Chile and Argentina. Because oh, during the, the, the middle Keith, passage of... Uh, hold on two seconds. I'm sorry. Keith, if you're listening, book me a flight to Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> I, all right. What, no what black people. Not, I'm serious. If you want to go to South America, not see any blacks, Argentina, Argentina. or Chile. Because mm. all the Africans died on the trek over the Andes the Mountains. Couldn't really? make it. Couldn't make it. Couldn't, couldn't make it to fuck the white women. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. History with Patrice. <laughs> History uh, couldn't make it to fuck all the white women and color up that country. <laughs> all right, let's go to break with that. <laughs> Jesus. He's <laughs> got the same riff, but he I, makes it work every time. Can I be ashamed? I'm ashamed. I'm gonna say it because I don't. I'm just. I'm still learning about white people. Mm. Saw a documentary on PBS about a guy that I should know. White people, God. But I saw a, a hour special of him, Neil Young. Oh really? I didn't know he existed, but he is a love the Neil. He Young. is a a a, a he's an artist, artist. Uh, yeah, the, oh, he he's is a one he's of the a biggies. He, the guys who uh, we love love him. Yep. Didn't know about, never really embraced. I love him, who but he I, was. but I also hate him because I went. Ah, I've told the story too many times. There's got to be a limit to the stories that we tell. <laughs> when it hits like the tenth time you're telling the story on the air, well, give me, give me someone the out version. there should be keeping track and go, nope, you've already told that story ten times. Don't say it again. All right. I'm a huge Neil Young fan. One of the bands I had listened to growing up with my brothers, and me and my brother. Make, went, let me make sure this is the right guy, though. Is this the guy? What was his first group? It, he was with Crosby, Stills, Nash, Nash and, and Young. And okay, young, great. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah that's yeah, the yeah. guy. Okay. So he's got a million hits, and I uh, grew up listening to him, and me and my brother finally went to the Felt Forum, I think it was, uh, to see Neil Young. We're like, holy shit, we're finally seeing him after all these years. Never saw him in concert. I don't think. Maybe I did. Whatever. Seen so many fucking shows. And uh, song after song after song after song after song, unfamiliar because of what you just said. He's a true artist. He's not playing any hits. He's not playing anything we know. You have to be so hardcore into Neil Young to really enjoy what he was doing up there. And and people argue this point with me all the time. Play like, the fucking hits. I'm sorry when you're pay when you're paying whatever it was over a hundred dollars a ticket to see Neil Young, and that, those were for average seats. You deserve some hits. If you want to go, I look, agree with that. If you if you want to go and say, uh, hey guys, my, to my fan base, write a you know tweet it whatever. I'm going to be playing your city, but I'm going to warn you, I'm, I'm going to be a true artist. I'm not going to play any hits, mm -hmm. but I'm going to keep the ticket price down so you can maybe check out a different side of me. But when wow. you're paying a lot of money for a ticket, you should be able to hear some hits. I'll take it a, and, uh, just a little step further. Yeah. I don't think that when you sing your hits, you should you don't even I don't want you to even make a variation. No, no. If, if Prince is singing Purple Rain, I want him to sing Purple. I don't want him to go Purple, 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 Purple Rain. Yeah. I don't want him to do it. Yes. I want you to fucking sing it exactly Just how I know like it. I know it. Well, <laughs> that's, that's, then, that's, then, I can, then I can tell right. you the Bob Dylan story. <laughs> wow. I had a, I had to ask for some translations uh, to, to the guy sitting next to me. No, this is subterranean homesick blues. I'm like, what? Really? Uh, <laughs> cigars and Scotch Unrecognizable. And Denver, yes. Cigars and Scotch and Denver Pest both sang at the same time. Clapton is another asshole when it comes that does to that uh, shit? uh not playing his yeah. hits. It's not not it's 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 not right. If if yeah. you're 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 taking a hundred and hundred, it's probably even higher now for fucking tickets. So guy behind me, way more excited to see Neil Young than us. And every song he's just screaming and screaming and he's just so excited. Because he's just assuming that there's going to be some hits eventually, and you can hear his energy level dropping oh, as the set goes. <laughs> he finally sits down. He puts his freaking, you know, <laughs> he's folding his arms, and he's like, bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> he's he's getting pissed. so pissed. And then when it was really silent after maybe the, honestly, 12th or 15th song without a hit, he stands up, and he actually says, it's one of the best things I've ever heard at a concert. Hey, Neil, how about one for us? Mm. Uh, self-serving, just fucking playing for himself. How about up one there. for us instead of like you know he's basically saying yeah uh, that yeah. you're so playing. The, so so you're the, playing whole, the whole just person, for uh, everybody heard it. Oh my god, yeah. And what did Neil do? I don't remember because now it's a few years ago. I mean, he, he, ended, up, he ended up having maybe mm, 
maybe five songs you know. In, maybe. In that, in that, that, that the average Neil Young saw, fan would know. I was a fan of his. I mean, meaning. I heard that a, thing's good. A too. fan of his, uh, who he is. He's a yeah. fucking real piece of, you know, work, man. He, he had, I mean, Pro Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young were humongous oh, evidently. Giant. Right. The group that he had before that was humongous, but he's anti fame, but he wants. I don't know what it is. What's his music out there? Uh, it's, but but, but yeah. you, you go, wow. But he's a true artist because everybody who talks about him mm. shakes shakes their head. Well, this has got... And, I got, and goes, f f fuck. I got to get Richard yeah. on because there is another side of this. <clears throat> go ahead, Richard. Yeah, uh, I saw Neil Young in Toronto about uh, five months ago, and he played every hit. Yeah, so that, that's uh, good. Was, no, no, that's good. Was, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Go. <laughs> No, no, you go ahead. <laughs> That's your show. Okay, sorry, Richard. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I think there was maybe two or three songs that weren't that popular, but uh, yeah, he played. Uh, oh, for, yeah. for for fucking Canadians, he does that. I guess no, for Americans, well, he says, "Go fuck yourself." I, I think, in all fairness, uh, when I saw Neil Young, he was going because I mean, you'll admit, as a Neil Young fan, he goes through these stages where he will mm -hmm. do stuff like this. You know that, Richard, right? Yeah. But, I mean, all right, if he's back to playing the hits, you know, good. I'm ready to go see him again. Like they said he, wrote, yeah. he wrote Ohio the day after yeah. that fucking shit Ken, happened. Like, he's that kind of dude. After Kent State. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, okay, I understand that, but how can, let's, let's look on the other side. How can he make new hits if you won't let him? <laughs> it's a balance. It's a, it's a, it's a balancing. You act. know what you got to do? You got to put an album out and let it, like, Kind of pick cook. up some steam. Percolate, true. Let people true. listen to it and go like, oh, true. I like this song, I like that. So then when you see them live, you're like, oh, I like this song. Yeah, you're. but if, it, true. if you have enough, enough hits in a set and then you're throwing in some of the new stuff that you think will work, that's fine. I like that's that. what happened. I'll, I I'll give like you a that. prime example. First album, that, that well, the first like big hit album that uh, Disturbed put out <sighs> was like every song every, on it I, I, I fucking loved. That album still is worth uh, putting yeah, in there once great. in a while. So when I saw them live, it was like, Oh, this is fantastic. Everything's a hit. But then the second album, I'm like, eh. There's a couple of hits off the same. Yeah, 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 not really. Though. It was, a, it was, it was a nothing like the first one. Yeah. But, uh, All right, how many yeah. hit songs do you have to have to have a full fledged concert? Wow. Apparently, uh, one if you're Kaja Goo Goo. <laughs> uh, like you go out and you just go, you go, oh man, this. Modern English. Because yeah. I don't know. What's, an, what's another Eagles one hit? One hit wonders do. Eagles another got Eagles a lot hit. What are you of crazy. Fucking... Give me Eagle. another one. See, but that's what I'm saying. I still have my white guy. Um, I still have my learning to do. Eagles and, got you know. a fuckload of hits. Hotel California is like. Well, I mean, no. I, other Eagles than Hotel a, California. Desperado. I think Eagles is a bad example, to be Desperado. honest. Desperado. As far as the white, as far as the yeah, white yeah, world goes, Eagles one. have just a million hits. Now, see, let me. I have a show that's uh, that soon will be introduced to the world, called uh, Patrice O'Neill White People One Hundred and One. <laughs> and the, and you the, should and be the, hosting and it. the inception of it is mm -hmm. basically one day um, I was listening to some white dudes talk, mm -hmm. and I poked my nose in and said some ignorant, <laughs> not knowing white people shit. I go. <laughs> Yeah, one of the best guitarists I've ever heard was Hotel California by the Eagles. They looked at me like the, I said, uh, Will Smith getting jiggy with it was the best rap song. <laughs> like if a white guy goes, hey, black guys, yeah, yeah. Young MC's a hell of a rapper, right? <laughs> that's, a, that's how they looked at me. And, and the show is going to be me taking uh, a journey to teach myself and black people <laughs> um, white people shit. Right. To say this is truly... Um, like when you say this to a white mm. person, this is an insult to them. This is the reaction you're going to get. It's like, who, who is this Neil Young fella? Mm. <laughs> I never heard of him. It, who's this Neil Young fella's like saying to a hip hop guy? Who, who's these mob deep guys? Who's these yeah, guys? And I'd you be just like, go, really? What? I'm going to explain mob deep to you, you piece who? of shit. And now, same thing with the Eagles. Mm -hmm. Now I'm trying to, I'm trying to get up on my, like, I'm, I'm trying to learn more than, uh, Leonard Skinner, more than, uh, just the hits. Yeah. The Eagles have so many hits that I think they had at least three, maybe four greatest hits greatest albums. Greatest hits albums? They just kit started. Really? Yeah. Just started. Long run, Heartache Tonight. Well, you, you know, I learned about white music. I got introduced to classic white music um, from old wrestling. They used really? to all. I, all old wrestling before they invented their own tunes. Yeah. Had all. Rock and roll yeah, hits. It's true. Black Sabbath. It was uh uh uh. uh Roll Warriors used to come out to uh, uh, Iron Man. 
and it was perfect for them. And another song by Rush called, called uh, 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 Monday Warriors, me, me. Oh, yeah. That was, <laughs> that was, uh, Kerry Von Eric. <laughs> And I was, I was Freebird together. was it's, fucking Leonard Skinner, but I learned all that shit from wrestling. Man. <laughs> Limelight, Spirit uh, of the Radio. Now I don't, uh, I forget what song that is. That's that's Rush. That's my. That's called um, Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer. Thank you. Yes, you're right. So yes, there it is. I'm just saying. I just I I learned these songs, and then I got into the, and you know, got you, you never know when you get introduced to 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 white things, man. Yeah. yeah all right. You, uh, you're very knowledgeable as far as the white man goes, though. Very I've interesting. That. Well, notice that. Can we go to Tony in Florida? Because uh, Tony has a take on this. Go ahead, hey, Tony. Hey, uh, hey, guys. You know, if if you wanted to if you wanted to listen to a group and you wanted to hear their greatest stuff, then pop on a CD. If you want to go listen to them in concert, you know, th th these musicians are getting tired playing song from note to note. I mean, they want they want to bring something different. And also, if they're if they're touring an album. They want to. They want to play parts of the song from the album. They don't want to uh, make an album and then play the old stuff. What, what's the sense of going to see a band if they're touring uh, an album? Uh, like uh, you, you know, when all of a sudden you hear no songs from the I, album. I, I, what, I, no one has. All right, this wait, wait, Tony. Opinion. Tony. But, <laughs> no, it's funny. Is you're not allowed to have this opinion. No, you can't. <laughs> I think you're. I think you're mixing, uh, uh, missing the point. I think what we just ex expect or want. It's just like a mix. You 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 definitely know they have to play their new stuff, that even though it's unfamiliar still. But you definitely want <laughs> you need time to go and grab that beer, just well, so you, you can you want, so you can but, feel a part of it and yeah, sing yeah. along. But, but you want you definitely want the hits from uh, your favorite band. <laughs> if I saw the Temptations and they didn't sing like <laughs> you know, I, I do I do yeah. sing, you go what the that fuck? The whole tempo of the song and that's no good because it's like oh what song did they play? Oh that was Purple Rain. Oh well, I didn't even know one one line from it. And I, I I agree with Patrice, but if you're going to play the song, don't change the whole thing. Just change a little bit of it to know that, hey, this is... <laughs> nah, not a little bit of it. All right. <laughs> nope, it's got to sound exactly I don't like want record. him to Thank say, you. fuck it. I don't want to add one doobie scooby. I don't want a doobie ain't. scooby. You don't want one? <laughs> if I saw Jimi Hendrix, he said, all along... All along <laughs> the Watchtower. I'll be like, motherfucker, there's one Sucks. along. <laughs> yeah. And I don't want the mic. I don't want the mic going out to the audience when when yeah. a, a, a part yeah. of the song I paid comes to, up. I pay to hear you sing yeah. it, not us. I could sing this on the car on the way home. You sing the fucking song. Hey, Richie's got a really good point. I hate to admit, but go ahead, Richie. <laughs> Hey, oh, nice job and having a black guy help you out with a Rush title. Yeah. And more than <laughs> once I've saying? said how Div big of a Rush fan Division, I man. Yeah. Divisiveness. <laughs> but he's right, yeah. though. I should have told you it was Tom Sawyer. Yeah, but there you go. I, that's that's me. I, I love <laughs> All right, Richie. I love, I, yeah. I, you know, look, wrestling brought me, because uh, uh, Michael Hayes used to come out to Freebird. When I used to hear, yeah. and then I listened to the song, and it's fucking a genius song. It's yeah. like, hey, look, bitch. You know, it's that kind of song. But another fucking white song that I listen to, because I love old white music, all old, not all, but old. I don't, I'm not mm -hmm. a big metal rock band guy, but fucking, you know that song, it's na 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 na. Oh yeah, hey, yeah. Hey. <laughs> then they change it to like a thing where you lose the game. It's about a guy who fucking steals another guy's girl, and tells the bitch, "Hey, let's go, bitch. You kiss this motherfucker one last time before we bounce. <laughs> kiss him." Goodbye. I never But we that. turned it into it's a sports anthem. And 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 fucking if you like pina coladas, it's a fucking guy cheating on his goddamn wife. Yeah. And she cheating on and him. She's cheating on and him too. Catch each other cheating on you. I'm like, but all we know couples if you will, like pina yeah. coladas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get your dick sucked in the corner behind your girl's fucking back. <laughs> but couples will sing it together because they have no idea. They, hey. have, they have no clue what the right. fuck that is. <laughs> so some of those back in the day, man, those writing some of those uh, classic shit. rock songs. Freebird is a beautiful song, uh, man. Even though it's done by, uh, you know, questionable uh, the <laughs> fucking, fucking bunch of racists. Fucking Skinner, man. Uh, <laughs> some southern, southern boys, yeah. I love Zeppelin. Zeppelin is might be my favorite uh, white band ever. I'd, I'd yeah. say. What uh, songs? Well, Beatles might be. What songs by uh, Cashmere, Zeppelin? Cashmere. Um, oh, yeah. And, and then uh, uh, Cashmere is a great song, but then it's like... Um, uh, 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 Stairway to Heaven, but Black Dog is one of my favorite little rock yeah, Black Dog one. is, uh, 
I'm a big you know fan why, of that shit. You know why I like Zeppelin? They ripped off the black band. Did they? Oh, oh boy, did they. God, did they. Oh, and that's another boy, thing. Go get the CD. <laughs> I, hate, I hate not having to like white people because they steal from us all the time. Go get the CD. We'll, we'll, they, we'll teach you something about Zeppelin. They, they fucking, fucking up. They stole from us? Well, blatant. well tech, And y'all admitting it? Well, there, this blatant, can't be blatant. good. There was a time that, there was a time in music it was just accepted. And then you know the tables turned a little bit, and it's not anymore. But yeah, they would just they would just take old yeah. fucking uh, bluesmen uh, songs it's and, and riffs so and go with fucking it. blatant ripoff. Yeah, it, it's it's embarrassing. Really? Yeah, <laughs> they didn't even try to. Cover this is it up. the horrible thing about history. When you just start, everything is shitty when you learn everything history. Is... Where you, you can't just go, boy, do I like Black Dog. Nah, no. they stole it from Blind Melon Jammer <laughs> from 1602, a black slave. <laughs> they cut his fingers off. <laughs> they, they cut his fingers off and played the guitar with Blind Melon Jammer's black finger. <laughs> All right, ready for this? We start with, uh, you know, Willie Dixon, right? Old bluesman? Bluesman? Willie Dixon. See, this is the... And Play then the blues I'm a, I'm a sellout. If any black people get to me, I don't know who the and fuck that, Willie Dixon is. I know the father uh, Jesse Dixon. <laughs> He's the boy. Listen to this. <laughs> sick on the floor with my mother. <laughs> Listen to this. Patricia. Hit him with a Kaiser blade. <laughs> That's a little safe to say. Willie Dixon came before. Poor Led Zeppelin. motherfucking <laughs> Willie Dixon. Got and the... I don't think Willie Dixon has a fucking castle somewhere in Scotland. No, I don't think the they were paying Willie Dixon anything. And that fucking see, here's all you all you got to do to to make this because I I did something when you guys let me host your show when you was mm -hmm. gone. It is the unsung unsung songs of hip hop where I go, this is the original song and this is the hip hop song. Yeah. All I ask for anybody, including. Led Zeppelin, which is too late. Yeah. Just in there, Joe. Thank you, Willie Dixon. <laughs> Appreciate your song, baby. Just it, just a little yeah, yeah, give drop. Up. So I don't. Now it brings them down a little because I know them and I don't know poor Willie. Di it's just like At Big Mama he's... Thornton singing, "You ain't nothing but a hound dog." You ready? Yeah, yeah. You ready for the next one? All right, what's this one? A couple more samples. <laughs> Fuck Willie Dixon oh, in the ass. Oh, Jesus. And what oh. was the meeting? <laughs> Robert Plant, what was the meeting, Bonham? What was the meeting? Hey, you hear this nigga, Willie Dixon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's... man, you want to... I bet he didn't even say that. I bet he just wrote shit down and went like, hey, I just wrote a song last night. And they all went, oh, this is cool. But, okay, like all did. right, find the album. Please do me a favor. Yeah. Find find the, the album, please, and see if Willie Dixon is credited. Well, no, that's... That was a thing, too, because uh, I think it took some lawsuits and stuff to get any kind of uh, writing credits on there. So I don't. I think maybe it might have been changed now, but definitely when it was released, there was no credit. To so we just thought that fucking Led Zeppelin was an amazing white band and with this Willie soul. Dixon. Willie Dixon. Hey, um... That made my fucking asshole start itching. I, I gotta go was. home and <laughs> fucking Google Willie Dixon now. And, and anytime somebody says fucking Led Zeppelin, I there say, ah, blow me. You, Willie but Dixon. that's like, you know what? Fucking Quentin Tarantino drops in a couple of this's and that's. Mm -hmm. Fucking, I was watching Pelham 123. He completely stole Mr. Pink, Mr. Blue, Mr. This and That from Reservoir Dogs from Pelham oh, right, 123. Right, yeah. Really? Yep. I didn't know that. that. The, ori the original, yeah. Uh, the Did original? You know that? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. yeah. It, uh, Robert Shaw, Mr. Was... Mr. Blue, Mr. Pink, and, yeah. and he had the whole thing where you don't don't say your real you name. Don't use the name. We're going to go. It, it was Reservoir Dogs, man. Yeah. Hmm. Fucking Reservoir Dogs. I think he's acknowledged that homage. I don't know. Yeah. That's because that's a blatant fucking. I didn't off. fucking know. I like. I've never. He's never. I've never heard him so go. You watched it and went, fucking, you know. Fuck it's just. <laughs> I don't mind it because yeah. Quentin Tarantino made it. 10,000 times more popular, yeah, yeah. but at least give it that thing. Like, these fuckers, now I gotta go listen to Willie Dixon. Like, cause the original song to, uh, You Got What I Need that, uh, Biz Markie made famous. You, you, you got what I need. It's, it's by a guy named, um, that's a ripoff? Dude. It, oh, yeah. If you can find the original, um, Oh, baby, you. You got what I need. I kind of. Oh, you know what? You I got forgot. everything you know what? Okay. I need. Yeah. 
You mean everything, Freddie? Um, oh baby, but you. that's what he turned it into. <laughs> yeah, he but made the it original his own. song. I, for, I did. For, I forgot. Was about that. fucking. It's a. It's a beautiful song. Uh, Freddie, please, if you if you could, man. Oh, but man. um, I'm. I didn't know. See now, this Led Zeppelin thing. It wasn't just a lick. They stole a fucking song. Yeah, and the, and word the, for word, basically. Just don't tell me Jimi Hendrix stole for nobody. That's all I, you know. <laughs> well. Just please. No. Don't, just tell me, don't tell me he that. probably borrowed from someone that came before him. Is there any more? that was one? happening in music a lot. I just want to uh, hear another one. Yeah, Travis, you got uh, Howling yeah, Wolf, another, another Killing Led Floor. Zeppelin. Is Cashmere stolen Oh, wait, no, too? go with uh, another Willie Dixon, Bring It On Home. Oh, man, this is crazy. Yeah, Willie Dixon was the big one. If you got Bring It On Home. No, I don't have that. Was Willie Dixon mm. going, oh, baby, just let the sun beat down upon my face. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Willie. <laughs> and I'm buying a stairway to heaven. Do, 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 do. I saw some stairs, do, 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 and they wasn't in hell. Do, do, do. <laughs> you, you love Stairway to Heaven? Uh, uh, E-Rock, you didn't give me the Stairway to Heaven. Willie Dixon? Uh, no. Another it was uh, uh, Spirit, right? Yes, yeah, Spirit. A little known band, Spirit. They had one, maybe two hits. Fucking Led Zeppelin they with hacks. They ripped off Stairway to Heaven, their biggest hit. The biggest rock song of all time, someone would when argue. When did they get exposed? Years ago? Uh, I don't know. Man. Led Zeppelin's hacks? And do people consider them hacks? Where's the. No, nah, they don't consider them hacks. A lot of people just don't. Uh... Watch this. Oh, look at this. Here we go. Wait till you hear this. TD. Hi, thank you, sir. Yep. So you got uh, Spirit came out with a song in 1968 called this is insane. Called Taurus. No one heard it. No one knows this fucking no song. No one knows this song. For real. So listen to Taurus from 1968. God, you got to be fucking kidding uh, me, yeah. dude. Hacks. You know it's what? I didn't. Fucking a rip Led off Zeppelin a hacks? Yeah. I grew up on Zeppelin. I didn't know half this shit. Until Rip very off recently, motherfuckers. especially the spirit one, I had no fucking idea. They're that fucking hats. Oh, is that a good one? Oh, a good one? See, this is my job to expose this kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because because it seems like white people just let this go. Mm -hmm. We don't care where it came from. <laughs> like it sounds good. Fuck, I don't care. Why not? I've never heard a song where the original wasn't better. Really? I've never heard a song where they did someone stole and the, and then. The original was not better. That song, I, that, I'm already like that riff in the, the first riff. In the first one. Better than, than hmm. the fucking Stay With Heaven. Let me think about that. Original always better. There's got to be one out there. Hmm. Shit. Fucking criminals. I don't know. Yeah. I think. Uh... Oh, by the way, the, the Twitter. Remember? Oh, right, right, right. The porn. And this one, I, I, I do believe one of our listeners turned me on to, and most people probably didn't listen and would write it down. So I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive I got it from somebody as we were doing the radio show. Simple. Tweet me some skin. That's all you need. Tweet me some skin? Really? Tweet me some skin. I thought I it's, thought Twitter was very uh, non. That's what I don't. I that's what I can't figure out. Are yeah, you allowed to post some allowed. of these crazier pictures that's what or not? I don't know. Moan. And you just, it's just at tweet me some skin. And girls just will do a little sexting. And, and send just, it into and this guy. And you follow. Yeah, and you click on the links. Now I, I really thought, I, I, I barely swear on Twitter thinking that yeah, they got to shut me down. Yeah. I get a little nervous. You got that, Danny? What's that? Tweet me some skin, Twitter. What's that? Uh, well, <laughs> what, I'm, what, try, I'm what, trying to get the What's that? Okay. What's that? That's the Twitter name? Yeah. I hate when I get a bad gateway. I don't even know what that is. There you go. And now let's just see what's up there right now. Yeah, probably the third one down. What does it say? What does that link say? Hit that that link. The third one down. Why? Oh, oh, you, oh you fucked up, Danny. Oh my God. There you go. Oh, okay. Oh. See now, there how do go. they how do they post that on fucking? There Twitter? you go. I thought it was. I thought that was not. There, post that there you go. Twitter, That's what I don't understand. I that something is illegal is so. The, the girls send their pictures to this guy, and then he posts Damn. them. Damn. All right. Well, that's a Just, song. For the most but... part, regular girls. How many followers do you have? You must have a million. 
He doesn't have a lot. No. Well, Maybe he's, he's trying to stay under the radar. Yeah, right well, oh, we just blew up his fucking spot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Maybe he's trying to stay under the radar. This guy's world. You just <laughs> fucked up this. Oh, that's. And I, I can't take credit right for it. Somebody, somebody turned well, me on to it. I think it was a caller. Suicide if, shit. If you're out there, thanks. I don't know. I don't remember Coffee the name. girl. Yeah, that's it. Like that. And he's just. You know, mm. What a great idea. Yeah. Since we're talking about quick ideas, sports, but it's a sports uh, guy, uh, you know, Carson Palmer, quarterback of the Cincinnati Bengals. His brother is the third string quarterback. He has a he has a website. I thought it was amazing. I, it, I saw it on on that. What's that shit? They're on the same Hard team. Knocks. They're on the same team. Huh, no clue. And but Jordan is is uh you know borderline bum, and he's 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 average enough to be thinking about his future outside of football already, and he's younger than than his brother. Right. But he has a he has a fucking website called runp.com. And you know what it is? It's he, it's a movie database and he and he fucking tells you exactly they did research and they tell you exactly what moments in a movie that you're watching where you can oh, go Travis, take a piss. Travis told us about that. That's his? Yeah, that's Run Jordan Palmer. That, that's like an app. I think it's called Run P. Yeah. Run P. Yeah. Run P. Here's Travis. Here's Travis. Travis yeah. told us about Something this a while ago. And that's that's Jordan now. Farmer. Jordan, jo not Jordan Farmer. Jordan Pomp Palmer. Carson Wait, Palmer. Now, do brother. you have to sync up your iPhone, or it'll just the iPhone will basically tell you? No, it'll tell you. Like, like, like here, who? like uh, all right, five hundred days of summer. Right, you're okay. sitting in five hundred days of summer. How, yeah. how do they know you're watching that particular five hundred days? Well, of they summer? don't. There's a whole list. It's of, a database. All right, so you click on you, on you click on the five hundred days of summer and the one you're and it seeing. says at okay. forty minutes. Into the movie, there's a cue that says Tom is laying in bed and says to Summer, I guess I'm not anybody. At that point in time, you have <laughs> it says you have five minutes to go to the bathroom and you're not going to miss anything. And you don't have you don't have right. to come back. You don't have to come back and say, but how does what did I, what miss? I miss? Because there's nothing that and happened. then they'll tell you what you missed. They give you a little plot summary. Ah, but how that's fucking that's, that's brilliant, brilliant. But how do you how do you make money off that? That's the key. because they charge you. This is ninety nine. Okay, it's an app, and it's, it's an app. And, and it's this guy's app. That's a great app. That is a great app. Goddamn. Oh, by the way, what was that breaking news you sent me uh, yesterday, Travis? What? About uh, the iPhone and... Uh, Picture and video messaging, September 25th. September 25th. What are they doing about cost? Is that going to be included extra? It's included in your data plan. It's included yeah. in the data plan. Fucking A. No, finally. Travis, you look disheveled. <laughs> He's a father have a baby. now. <laughs> He's a father. He's a baby. He's a fucking I have an eight week old baby. What He's a fucking <laughs> wreck. You're Patrice. not you're not fucking fucking forcing your wife to get up? No, no, no she gets up. <laughs> she gets up to put the pants on in the family. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Nice. Oh. Nice. Oh. He look, he's just looking oh. disheveled, dude. I've really never is. seen Travis. It's been a while since I had a haircut. He really is. You are a wreck. No, I'm not. As a dad. Well, well, I don't know about that. I think well, I'm a pretty good dad. No, you, you love your baby I, yet? You are oh, a good. Of course. Man. When do you start actually loving him? Oh, he the second you yeah. see her. Oh, well, I love his baby too. Now, Danny, she just got into see. her oral phase. <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh, really? We were talking about nothing just, but just, a horrible baby. Would you jokes just about stop? Him. Wait until she she gets to the anal phase. Oh, it's a girl. I <laughs> <Ay>, caramba. <laughs> Yeah, Danny keeps threatening fucking weak to sperm. fuck his daughter. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna daughter. finger his daughter. Oh, okay. I hate guys that think that they act like they want daughters too. Yeah, like, oh, my little girl. It's oh. like ah, uh, nobody wants a goddamn a little girl, little future bleeder. Well, a beautiful baby. Well, with guys, you're definitely gonna be bailing it out of jail at some point. <laughs> you just showed, <laughs> you just showed the, the wrong person in this room a picture of your baby. You Why know should I think Patrice thinks the baby's cute? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I, mean, you gotta, my dog. I tell you what, white, white babies need a couple of years to finish cooking. <laughs> <laughs> white babies are gross looking. They really just, do come out as slimy little things. Just blue veins. They just yeah, look like get the, rid of that blue tint. Yeah. <laughs> they look like the inside of a real baby. <laughs> so give it two years when it stops. Because Voss's baby, I looked at and went. Eh. Yeah, but mm, his but baby's now? turning into like some a model or something. His fucking his. Older girls, yeah, yeah, they're unbelievably really hot. gorgeous, really hot. And this one has his his new baby, deep blue eyes, like yeah. wow, hmm. like, amazing. But when I first seen it, I was like, how does that idiot put out like cute kids? 
But he, he only has weak feminine sperm. <laughs> yeah, he really He makes does. girls. He, he doesn't make, make soldiers. <laughs> you know what he is? He's a waste. If You know what? <laughs> they would kill him if this was fucking Sparta. ancient Greece. Sparta. They'd throw fucking Voss over the mountain because he only makes girls. We need warriors, <laughs> Voss. <laughs> you and your fucking weak girl sperm. You fucking... Making girls. That fucking Cliff. It'd just be tossing his fucking girls and his ass over the That's edge. why I'm scared to have kids. I know I'm going to be cursed. My daughter's going to come out with 10 vaginas and they all work <laughs> as much horror as I do to bitches. She'll have a pussy on her elbow. She'll fall down. Daddy, I fell and came again. <laughs> Doctor, what am I going to do? Well, she just has a pussies everywhere. I fell down on a dick. <laughs> and she's a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine having a daughter that has pussies everywhere? <laughs> my daughter has a pussy. What's this on her elbow? Everywhere. You can't even a cover clitoris? all the pussies up. <laughs> God damn. My daughter's coming all the time. Oh, that's That'll horrible. be my curse. That'll be my curse. <laughs> that's funny. But Voss's, Voss's kids are fucking um, gorgeous, man. We found the, uh, you got what I need. Hey, listen to it, man. I don't even listen to this the no more. first motherfucker. I was like a, singing. I never heard that before. He was fucking When I sing singing. in the street sometimes, I just be like, you hang out, I was hanging at the cellar just to, oh, baby, you. And people are like, God, and then they start making going, that song nice? It, and then they start going, and you say it's just a <laughs> And I'm like, have nah, you ever nah, heard nah. the real guy? He's fucking singing his brains out. He's, yeah. he's, it's love. And no one remembers him. They remember <laughs> retarded fucking <laughs> Retarded Bismarcky. Biz <laughs> it's not even a fucking homage to this guy. It's a retarded version. It's an insult. <laughs> <laughs> I recorded an insult to this guy's song. Have you ever asked this thing? Since we're just asking things, mm. I, I like to come in here and just yeah. share things that I need to get out because there's nobody to talk to. Yeah. Um, best, best. Rend I heard a rendition of a Star Spangled Banner recently. Mm. I think it's the best rendition of a Star Spangled Banner I've ever heard. Well, everyone would go with uh, Hendrix, right? Uh, Jose Feliciano's Star Spangled Banner. Wow. Uh, when was that done? I thought it was the best thing, the best Star Spangled Banner I've when ever When was heard. it done? Uh, it was for in, what? In, in the World Series. It was the Little League World Series? No, it was, a, it was the actual World Series, and he rewrote and they trashed him. I mean, they fucking... Well, do we have it? Trashed him for... for, for ch Rednecks wanted his head. It was in the 60s. Oh, wow, but really? But people say Whitney Houston, people say Marvin Gaye, people say uh, Jimi Hendrix. Hey, Jose Feliciano, you know, you could do a lot worse. <laughs> I fucking love that in Fargo. Fargo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Buscemi. You sit with that prostitute. Jose Feliciano, you could do a lot worse. Well, uh, Whitney did. <laughs> not to correct you, I don't think Whitney did Star Spangled Banner, though. Yeah. yeah. It was, it's, it's up there with one of the best ever. Wait, didn't. No, wasn't it another song? No. Mm. She she did, oh, say. I mean, um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She can sang. you see? Oh, by, right. Yeah. Well, I'm but he kid. fucking. Uh, All right, let's listen to that. We I thought it was beautiful, man. They fucking boo. He got wow. death threats. Boo. He's the first one what? to change. That was, that was awesome. The, he changed the way dead, that the fucking song dead, was done. Blind spit motherfucker. Yeah. 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 They fucking yeah. hated it. He, and he didn't change the words. He just changed the way it was done. That was good. That was fun. I, 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 I think that the best Star Spangled Banner is just, is, you know, anyway. Wow, but I, they but I heard kill it. his motherfucking they ass. Fucking yeah. threat, but they threatened Jimi Hendrix, too. Yeah. yeah when he fucked with it. <laughs> wow. So I'm just I was reading some of the comments. I saw you laughing. I think Steve Rambeja said, Sing it right, you blind fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Blunt. There's nothing better than doing with his time. <laughs> Sing it right, you blind fuck. <laughs> they chased that motherfucker out of America ah, after that shit. shit. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> you should see the video with it. They usher I'll, I'll him. I'll later. They usher him right the fuck out uh, of there. Yeah, no, they love you. They love you. Get out of here. Get beat it. Quick, run. <laughs> <laughs> my, I got my favorite version. Thank you, Danny, for reminding me. It's right up there with the one we just heard. Go ahead. Jose, can <laughs> you see by the stern early light? For the ramparts we watch was so gallantly gleaming And the rocket's red glare God's words bursting in air Gave proof to the light That our flag was still there 
Whose does that star spangle banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> rolling. Oh, rolling. Yeah. Is that rolling? Yeah. That was rolling. Uh, we missed rolling. <laughs> All right, rolling got big, big dealings now. What? Oh, he, he had big dealings. He yeah. had. He's home. Some other country, but He's then home. No, I heard, for a job. I heard Roland, uh, huh? I heard from the grapevine somewhere that Roland is booking, um, uh, what's his name? Oh, is he, it Kimmel? He, no, your boy. That he was on. Fallon? Fallon. I hope so. That'd be I heard Roland's him. booking Fallon. I heard he's booking oh, the, the, the talent I on Fallon. I fucking hope so. That's what I heard. Could be wrong, but that's what that's what the that word kid. in the streets is. Roland's running shit. Uh, he kind of got fucked, man. He got let go yeah. after we were trying to hire him, and we weren't allowed to hire him. And then after we weren't allowed to hire him, they fired him. <laughs> <laughs> did he uh, got fucked. Did you Twitter uh, that picture? Oh, yeah, before we leave. Yeah, like, yeah, because I, I, I got <laughs> yeah, to see it, and then... Yeah, it's up on my I mean, Twitter, that OP motherfucker radio. has to get in here and explain that shit. You know what? You're going to be surprised. Why? P Patrice didn't think it was a big deal. Really? What's that? Steve's, uh... Steve's pants. Steve's pants. Steve's fucking the back of Steve. Steve's fucking pants. <laughs> Y'all brutalize him so much that yeah. Opie goes, hey, Patrice, you like, would you wear those pants? I go... Look at that shit. I go, yeah. And yeah. Steve goes, what the shit you come in here with? I go... Oh, I like, said I'm on your side, you abused motherfucker. Fuck, you just stuck up for him, and he fucking yeah, chill look at out. that. Not only just the design, the ass. <laughs> it's the ass that fucks it up. He he doesn't fit in those <laughs> pants. What is that big bubble? It looks like a it looks like a fat woman security guard's pussy. <laughs> 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 it does look at that shit. <laughs> but the but the but the pants are cool, man. Good embroidery, they're well done, you can see. Yeah. I, I have to say you, that I don't mind those pants, but on Steve this is I don't think you need you the know. embroidery like that. Steve, yeah. we were just commenting no, on uh, the your embroidery ass. if you're gonna I don't know. First of all, no way would I try to pull that off, but it's too bright on top. Yeah, of it. yeah. Let's turn around. You don't it's like the like uh, the skull embroidery? Thing. No. Uh, First of all, they're on the back of your thighs, your pockets. Yeah, they're the too tight. That's the one thing. Yeah, just, yeah. They, f <laughs> they feel like mis mis ill-fitting tuxedo pants. <laughs> <laughs> but Steve is Ill an ill-fitting clothes guy, though. <laughs> yeah, what's with the back? Like, look, look at the loose shit in I don't the know. back. Looks like you got a dighty. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. I really yeah. don't know. You wearing them backwards? <laughs> that I might be. Because the front's very tight. Yeah, you got camel toe in the back. Yeah, yeah, I do. The front's very tight. I don't know. I really don't know. How does, how does that work? I have no idea. How does the front of pants be tight by your cock, and then the back, you like a, a load because of I have no potato, idea how these pants are supposed to... potato shit. They're probably supposed to be really baggy, and on me, they're, so, they're, uh, they're, they're not. Why so. is everybody in here, except for Danny, mm -hmm. not you, and not, I mean, all the... Why is everybody disheveled? Mm. Why is Steve disheveled? What's going on? Steve, I you've been know. back for a week. It's been a long week. Years? No, they don't. I don't. Uh, I don't know. It's everywhere. Is it really? Well, my wife's pregnant, so. Yo, oh really? Yeah. Oh, you made sure yeah, she stayed, huh? Yeah. Steve yeah, is in everyone. super love. Oh, oh, I am. <laughs> oh, at the wedding, he was he was floating <laughs> like the fat guy from Dune. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was moving like one like how Spike Lee has the people moving. Yeah, he just yeah, was when they're walking in down love. the sidewalk, it just float. Oh Lord, have mercy! I know he's happy to have her pregnant. Oh yeah. Well, I we've been trying for a while, so I am very. You've happy. You've been trying yeah. for a fucking while. But I will say, um, I haven't done it until recently. Mm. Coming inside of a vagina is just another feeling of. There's I've always done porn style, like but it. coming inside of a vagina is yeah. just it's shock. It feels shock. If I found <laughs> yeah. out about it when I was nineteen, because mm -hmm. I always pulled kids. out, Sean Kemp, fucking move over, nigga. Why would you pull out? That's a kid joke. I, I I'm with you. Sean Kemp. Sean Kemp. How many does he have? Oh, it's eight, nine Some that he doesn't take care of. <laughs> right. I would have forty six oh, okay. kids. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Sean has That's a lot of kids. Sean Kemp has a lot of kids. Mm. It, it's just it. And he it didn't survive. Feels unbelievable. He didn't survive yeah. long enough in the NBA to take care of all his kids. No, nah, he got eight or nine. But I I didn't find out about coming into a woman until 30, 39 and a half. Holy shit! Because there's nothing that could be done. To your cock, 
the second you're ready to come, that is better than being in that vagina. Oh. Even a blowjob, the whole thing, like, quick, pull it out, shove it in the mouth. And the it twat's always accepting. It just <laughs> starts. Oh, yes. It just starts, like, eating, it's eating just, cum. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it just, you, the fucking <laughs> pussy just starts <laughs> wanting cum in it. It's just, it's just so uh, natural. It just knows to gobble that up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm so fantastic. surprised I fucking don't have a fucking kids running uh, around. God damn it! That means you want to be a father. Yeah, nah. Maybe taking the shot. No, nah, it's just it's just feels good. You, uh, it better be birth control and shit like that. I'm uh, taking the place of kids. I'm buying a bunch of dogs. I got another dog. I heard. Now someone said you buy dogs and then you give them away. What's that about? I I, I buy dogs. You save them from the puppy mills. Yes. I, when I go into a oh. mall, as soon as I see a mall, oh, a mall, a dog, mall dog in those cages well, in with the feet in there, and, and they're just living in their own shit and piss. Yeah. And they cost <laughs> fucking fifteen hundred, two thousand yeah. dollars. And somebody and they and here's the racist sons of bitches. They keep a lot of chihuahuas around because they know a lot of Puerto Ricans are going in there. <laughs> and uh, the, everything is racist. And though. they and they fucking um they get they get the uh, uh financing. You they they do financing like cars. You can make payments on these dogs, and they're always sick. They always got kennel cough. They always got some kind of problem. I bought a a, a West Highland Terrier. And he's a, he, we think he's retarded, but we're not sure. Um, <laughs> Bobby said he might be deaf because Bobby's like the dog guy. Yeah. The he, dog whisperer? He, yeah. he, a little bit, but, you know, you know. Bobby's but what Bobby is. Bobby muscles his dogs kind of, but I, but Bobby's <laughs> a dog knower, but he's not a dog lover. But he he, he loves his dogs, but he's like. He's in. He's like loves this pack leader thing. Like, you oh, know, is he like the alpha male of yeah, his like, pack? Yeah, like hey, you two motherfuckers, sh get out here and shit. And they, yes sir. They, he teaches him. He teaches him how to do the fucking yes sir shit. Uh, <laughs> he salute. He salutes I'll him. End you too. <laughs> <laughs> but I bought a West Island Terrier. It's a little white dog, and it's just um. I, we think it's retarded. So what mm. are you gonna do with it? Um, I don't. We waiting to see if it's retarded. But I told my girl, <laughs> um, to if see. he's retarded, we have to figure out fast. Because we, we will be able to find him a home. I mean, it's a four-month-year-old West, West Highland. Yeah, you can't let it get old and retarded. You but know, no, you can't let it be attached and retarded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you go, hey, I got a four-month-year-old retarded puppy. And I always look, like, every couple of years, I'll spend $1,000 on a dog Jeez. to get him out of them fucking places. You know, That's and, and I got I got a I got a, uh, a chihuahua and I got a, 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 a shih tzu <clears throat> and, and two doctors, a doctor and... and Got the the one and the other. I I don't mind because it's just I I don't take care of him, but I hate when I go in the malls, man, and it's mm. just fucking sad. But they're I'm hoping this dog corral. ain't dumb. They make a little corral for him, and they throw sawdust down, and they're just like, no, not in the mall. Yeah, they got him standing like um I thought fucking show, Vietnamese, like... <laughs> some torture. It's it's a fucking it's a it's a cage a cage even at the bottom. I've seen the cage ones. No, but it's caged I think by the on displays, all sides basically, and even on the feet. So yeah. they, so supposedly Ow. the shit falls through, but the shit never falls through. Mm. It's there. They pee through it, and then here's what happens: they get they get really detached from people because people take them out the cages, play with them, but they go, "How much the dog?" Um, Nine hundred fifty dollars. Oh no! Oh no! And then the dog goes back, so it, it never get attached. So I think this dog is like. First of all, he got car sick. It threw up in the fucking car. Oh my so god! If they, so the doctor's like, "Yeah, little dogs. It's, it's weird. It's like a b motherfucker. It's like you go to Best Buy." And you go, hey, we got the floor model television. You go, plug that in, motherfucker. <laughs> plug it in. Plug it in. The TV's working. You get it home. That shit explodes. <laughs> I get this dog. It fucking starts foaming at the mouth like it has rabies and throws up. And it wasn't like that in the, in, in the I store? Said, I said I was kicking the dog in the store. <laughs> What's wrong with this dog? And then it's retarded. God damn. The dog's retarded. It has a blank look. And we have another dog, a poodle, which is super smart. And the poodle's just looking like, what the uh, fuck uh, did you, you do this home, for? You brought home a retard. A retard. Can't even jump. Legs are little. It's a midget. So we're hoping it pulls out. I keep reading <laughs> the breed shits. But it's a four-month-year-old Westie. If we, if we give it away, somebody will take it in a minute. There'll, yeah. there'll be a white woman that'll take this fucking dog Ooh, in seven dog. seconds. It's, it's a beautiful dog, and she might have the patience. You know, to, for a retarded to take, dog. but I'm hoping it's not retarded. Yeah, right. you, Bobby, know, you could check for developmental problems. You could take their paw, their rear paw, and flip it over so it's like on their like the wrist of the paw, like this, 
And if they don't flip it over right away, they could have uh, some developmental problems. Are you bullshit? How do you know that? I watch a lot of Dog Whisperer. Oh, you're a Dog Whisperer guy? And my chick is a vet tech, so. Really? Wow, so you you, you take the back take foot, the back foot, and put it on the ground, and then flip on it, top like, flip of it on, on its like on its joint almost. Put right. It like, and like if it, if Mia it Wallace did with her foot when she was standing <laughs> yeah. in the when she was so waiting for Travolta. So if it just goes, if it just goes, if he takes and starts walking on three legs and the other one's dragging behind, <laughs> yeah, like they, it should go immediately back to the to the proper position. If it doesn't go immediately back, it's like a reflex. Then your dog might have some problems. Retarded. Yeah, Something. potentially. What else? <laughs> Just behavioral problems, developmental problems, you know. But how do you know in two days? How long yeah. before you know if it's retarded? Try the foot trick. Oh, Start God, there. please, God, don't let the <laughs> fucking dogs put not slip back. It's just I'm, I'm praying. I'm praying because I made a promise to the kid <laughs> that we're going to keep the dog. If she does her fucking her part to take care of the dog, we'll keep it. If this dog's foot stays on the fucking ground. If it stays like Carl's hand when he touches the little fellow rock. <laughs> little oh, feller. I'm fucking Poor praying to feller. God, don't let this dog be retarded. This, let the foot flip black. This please. dog has no idea <laughs> about the test that is going to happen in uh, an hour. <laughs> I'm going to fucking press his head against his chest. <laughs> <laughs> and, ta and duct tape his head against his chest. If he doesn't wiggle out, well, he's retarded. Oh my God! Please, Danny, don't please. We got well. This guy has the same exact dog. He wants in. Uh, Cam in Georgia. Cam. Hey, what's going on, fellas? Hey, buddy. Hey, uh, we've got a West Highland Terrier. My girlfriend just got one, probably about a half a year ago. Yes. And they've got. You look at it, and it looks like it doesn't have a soul. Like yes. Like yes. It yes. Like it's it. void. They are all, they are all retarded, man. Like they, they all it's gonna throw up everywhere. It pees everywhere. They are just they they make no sense. Oh no! You picked the wrong I mean, right dog. Now, now it's grown on me. It's grown on me recently. Like now I see it. And I'm like, oh, what's up? You know, it's uh, Piper's her name, and I just love her to death. But at, at oh first, no! I wanted, to, I wanted to throw her into the sun. Just, <laughs> oh, that's that's how we feel. It's only been two days, and I th and like he it's. It's void. No you look at the eyes are black. There's no white in the eyes. It's yeah, there's no soul. lifeless there's no eyes soul. like a doll's eyes. Oh my god, dude. No you think it ain't whatsoever. living till it bites you. Oh my god, <laughs> dude. Please don't. Please don't. Just what's the give me a good something about it. Uh I mean, good watchdogs, like any some like slight noise that they'll hear outside, they're really good about that. But at the same time, that gets annoying because like that's they'll right. hear something outside that's normal and they just freak out like it's the end of the fucking world. But so just a yappy, retarded yeah. That's yeah. it? Everybody that's wants to know uh the results of the test. You gotta call us we're not here Dude, Monday, Tuesday. I'm going home Tweet it. Tweet and it. I'm Big Mama Prize, if you wanna know <laughs> the answer. I'm running home. Hey, push it out, <laughs> Thank right. you, sir. I'm running home and flipping his back foot. Right. That's I'm good... flipping both back feet. They're going to shut us off because Ron and Fez Sorry, are... man. No, it's cool, but they're in uh, best of mode, so you know we can't fuck around with the time today. Uh, Big Mama oh. Prods will be uh, tweeting the results of the test, so start following Patrice on Twitter. Oh, Absolutely. And then you got... Uh... My stomach is hurting right now. You got a lot of... That dog's got a lot of pressure. I have no idea. Maybe maybe uh, the kid at home could like have the dog practice before you get home. Oh, boy. The Treehouse Comedy Club in Stratford, Connecticut, September 11th. Mm -hmm. September 11th, you're gonna be in Connecticut. Aren't yeah, you? the anniversary. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking I I I I put 10 years after that it was gonna be a holiday, but it ain't a holiday yet. No, no, no. 10 years. We're getting close. Up on uh, yeah. Well, we I, gonna, I think it's gonna be a holiday. 11. We're gonna have the fucking 9/11 11. cookouts, baby. We got one more to go. Uh, September 12th, Treehouse Comedy Club in Danbury. In Danbury, yep. So you just move uh, move around I-95 a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'm just hanging in Connecticut next weekend. And then September 17th, San Francisco Punchline. Yes, sir. San Francisco. Great region. shows. People are always good out there. And you you follow uh, Patrice Big Mama Prods on Twitter. You'll, MySpace you'll get that and all info. that. And, the, my, and, my, and my website's coming up very soon, very, very I soon. I thought you were going to be off the grid. What happened? <sighs> what point is it? Need another, just, you know. I look at it. I look at the way Michael Jackson died and mm -hmm. how famous he was, and and people don't even care now. Yeah, I, I don't want people right. to just completely not care when I die. So you got to have some residual something. Just something where people yeah. fucking give a shit. So mm -hmm. that's right. it. Well, Thank you.
All right, Patrice, uh, again, always a pleasure Thank to have you, you on this program. Yeah, appreciate and, it. It's uh, too bad you have to run home and do that test, or I'd say, you know, check out my apartment, let's have lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be able to fucking hold my food down until I flip this fucking dog's foot backwards. Uh, Are you serious? You playing with me? No, no that's great. So you, you stand thing. them up, flip it back, Yep. and if it needs it to come flip back right away. And if it doesn't, then, you oh know, my you, should, you should see a vet probably. You better tweet that immediately, man. We all want to know. Oh, yeah. Please, God. I don't ask for nothing from me. Yeah, all right. We, 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 right, we got to do the wrap-up. All right, everyone. Yeah, have a great weekend. Take it easy, everybody. Good first week back. Jimmy's back on, uh, what? Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, he is here. Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday. and then goes away again? Yep. All right, cool. We'll have everybody back on Tuesday. Have a all great right, weekend. Go wake up. Bye.